I gotta have my granny got her. I gotta have my and I love me some wah water, wah water. Yes, I love me some wah water. The port. Yes, I love me some wah water, wah water. Hope you got your suit. Yes, granny love us some wah water. Hope you got your suit. Granny needs a wah water. Hope you got your suit. Yes, I love me some wah water, wah water. Y'all see my cash app. Yes, I love me some wah water. The port. Hey y'all, no work today, so that's a plus. Mm. Fruit pepper got to be the best cereal made ever made. I'm gonna enjoy my little all day. Bye. Sanisha, 44, do you have any kids, honey? I do. How many kids? I have five. Okay, how old are your kids? The oldest just turned 27 today. The youngest is 17. Honey, all five ages, Tanisha, honey. 27, 24, 18, 17, and 15. Wait a minute, uh, uh -oh. She got no job, and she got five kids. She look for a man. Yeah. Who is in right mind? Kendra say, are you, in, Kendra don't understand the how silly that question is are you in position to date well question wanted to say i'm in the best position to date i ain't got no job somebody need to come in here and help me don't you love when i come around what do you say Build you up, then I'll take you down. I have five. Uh oh, let's get to how old are these five kids, girl? 20, 17, 13, 7, and 3. All by the same man? Absolutely not. What? Why are we having kids by the same man? Absolutely nothing. We just don't, absolutely nothing. Unfortunately, that, that just was not uh, what panned out for for me okay, and the choices I mean, that I made at the time. Five. Girl, now I'm. Now I'm I know Kendra. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. I know. First, why you not with the three-year-old dad? Uh, because Kendra, he was married, unbeknownst to me. Wait a minute, uh, uh -oh. What are we doing? Are we gonna do this? You 40 years old with a young child, your last baby father, the fifth of the five. She five for five. If y'all didn't hear her, five for five. And she said the fifth baby daddy was married. I'm a woman. Because when men get intimidated by my looks because I'm so fine, you know, when I put on a full face of makeup, men be so shy to speak to me. They be like, what the fuck? I be like, you're right. Why the fuck am I so fine? Why? I know you mad because I look better than your mother. I know you mad because I look better than your brother. But it's okay. Your head ain't gonna do nothing but make me great. Me looking like this can only take the cake. Your face will be the reason I smile. 
And I would not see what I can have forever. And that's no resistance. And then you will remember me. Whoa, you play me dirty. You play me so bad. You talk with my emotions. And I started smoking crack. And then you ran from me. Play me like a damn fool. How many kids do you have, Jasmine? I have six. Six kids. How old are your kids, Jasmine? Um, age range from 14 to... Oh, give me all the ages. Um, 14, 12, 10, 6, 4-year-old Christmas Eve, and a 1-year-old December 16th. Okay, Jasmine, how old are you? 32. 32. Are they all by the same man? No. How many men? Five. Five. So why are you not with the one-year-old dad? Ooh. Uh, wrong choice. <laughs> Stop, man. What the hell is we doing? <laughs> Here we go. Quick draw bone quisha. I ain't I ain't never seen bone quisha be so rapid fire with the excuses. Oh. Shout out to Grave Lachelle says, I ain't gonna lie. Y'all channel made me stay with my man. I'll, I'm already full for two. Y'all not finna flame me. Yeah. I don't care what nobody say. We doing something over here. That's what it's all about, Graves. We trying to help people make sense. Graves, you just made our night. Ain't nothing these wicked women can say to bring us down. We trying to bring families together. There you go, Graves. Appreciate you for your testimony. <laughs> there you go. Okay, y'all been waiting for it. It's my real here day with Keon. Okay, he had to blow it out, y'all. Now he's about to give me a treatment to make this hair manageable because I got Kunta Kente hair, child. <laughs> but it's all good. Oh, no, don't cut my hair. Keon, don't cut my hair. All right, we see the curls popping. Oh, he so got the curls shape. And then voila. There we have it. Real here day with Keon in LA. And let me tell you something. Don't get too used to it because it's back to wig life by Tuesday. Have you ever seen a sheet before? A what? A sheet. <laughs> what you? Where you going? <laughs> Did you see the ass on a sheet? I will f the shit out of a sheet. Stop it. Get some help. All right, we gonna get back into it. Hit the like button you if you just coming in. Hit, hit the like button if you just coming in. Emotional damage. This is wild. The booty is where the doo doo is, boy. Let's do it all day long. I want to see that. Because we about to go out there and do what they want. They give me my theme music. <laughs> We told you we coming. We told you we coming. You thought we was joking. And guess what? We keep receipts. God bless you, America. Ooh, God is good. Mm -hmm. 
It's time! Let's get it on. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Live, single by choices. Brought to you by Carpet Foot of Horse Productions. It's Tuesday night, Mr. Walker. How you feeling, brother? Yes, sir. I am feeling fan freaking tastic per usual. Good evening, good evening, ladies and gentlemen, El Nug Nugs and Le Bonquishas. Welcome to Cart Before the Horse Single by Choices in affiliation with the Bougie Negro Podcast. And also, as all you Negroes know, in association with Ain't no fun once the rabbits got the gun entertainment. What's going on with you this mighty fine Tuesday? In the big name of Jesus, you hear me? How y'all feeling out there tonight? We in the building. It's, I mean, it's Tuesday night. It's up and it's stuck tonight. I'll tell you that right now. I tell you what. I tell you what's up and stuck. <laughs> the El Presidente talking about sheeps and that. I keep forgetting that was even a thing until, you know, I keep getting reminded <laughs> via single by choices. Holy cow. Sheep, sheep booty. Right, here we go. Shout out to the president, man. Hopefully he can come back up and explain himself because we kind of just skimmed over that for obvious reasons. Hmm. But... <laughs> I tell you what, in the, in the one video premiere, I find it so funny that like some of the detractors will watch the videos and they got they got the craziest condition of select hearing I've I done ever experienced. They have like, oh, the one sister with the uh Christmas get up on the Christmas pajamas, <laughs> and everybody's like, Oh, she cute, she cute, she look good. And so sister tried to say that the sliding scale also appeals to men. She was saying that men going to get her because she got a kid, but she cute enough and that her physical attractiveness outweighs the kid. And I say, ah, it's more to it than that, Bonquisha. <laughs> there you go. There was another brother, you know, on there's a lot of detractors, but yeah, yeah. I love it. You don't get that. Yeah, like you said, we're here for it. <laughs> also, what else we here for? My guy G Honda done switched up the name in the uh avatar again. Again. <laughs> All right. But he says, he says, Walker Hooch got cracked up and said, Goodness gracious. <laughs> what? It, and if it do, why you see here we go, G Honda. If it do, now you ratting. You see what I'm saying? And you do you know what? And you snitching. Do you know what happened to snitches, G Honda? Are you are you aware, my dear brother? <laughs> Stitches, brother. <laughs> All right. Also, shout out Gian to come back, says Mr. Walker, putting nitrous oxide in the Prius. Perhaps. Perhaps. <laughs> shout out to Tone Chambers, 2023. Come through with the super sticker. Appreciate you. Gianda back again. What you got? He says, per journalism, Kendra not getting married. A boyish. Listen here. <laughs> That's so mean. I hope she is. She's a, listen here, she's a, what do they call it, public figure? You know, everyone can see her. I hope so for the sake of her sanity and her brand, you know. That's one thing. We up here, we we make predictions, We but we ain't up here wishing ill on nobody. <laughs> there you go. And shout out to my guy, Andrew. He come through to $5. Says, caught Sunday's replay. He says, Renata was on Beyonce's internet capping. Good evening, single by choice family. Shout out to Andrew Fain doing the journalist work. My man Andrew came through with some hardcore evidence. You see, that's the thing about you got to consider the source when it comes to information. And our dear brother Andrew Fain, a heck of a good source. Him and his pop. He said he gave, he gave me the skinny. He said, no, nah, she ain't no executive or high ranking nothing. She work at a call center. <laughs> There you go. So we appreciate all of our infield journalists, man. That's too dope. Too dope. <laughs> also, yeah, get that money. Money. Gotta get that money. Oh, money. And I'm going to get it. 
and it won't stop, and it don't stop, and it won't stop. You know what I'm talking about? Shout out to my guy, Joker Nutty Nate. Yeah! Boom, Takalaka! Come through with the 50 ball. All right, get the show started off right. Sponsor in the show says, Salute Single by Choice Nation. Just finished watching the Regal Rumble. Subscribe to the channel. Links in the chat. And between Jay Prince and Fat Jesus, modern women and sheep. Oh, my. Oh, my. He says, this is wild. All right. This is wild. <laughs> Hit the like button, people. Hey, Team Merritt, we up. Y'all single folk out there, bless y'all bones, man. Y'all out here. Listen, y'all got to deal with sheeps with the nest. Um, you know, Jay Priggity out here with the sheeps and fat baby Jesus, the the return. Oh they my. all in the same city. That's all in one city. Don't get that. Don't ever forget that either. Is something in the water? The answer is yes. <laughs> <laughs> so shout out to Joker Nate. I'm gonna get this updated down here, brother. You are the show sponsor tonight. You definitely gotta get a drop for that to get the show started. Where you at, Don? Because we about to work tonight. This about to be a long one. All right, mm-hmm. here for it. Hard for the money, so hard for it, honey. They work hard for the money, so you better treat them nice. Ooh, diamond, hard for the money, so hard for it, honey. They work hard for the money, so you better treat them nice. Shout out to Dom. Shout out Joker Nutty Nate. All right. Can't stand Big Dom. Can't stand it. <laughs> Listen, we got a Big Dom update that's going to shake Single by Choice Nation to its core. If we get time tonight, we'll Come see. On. We'll see. If we burn in the midnight oil here, it's some amazing stuff going on. Down in Mucho out of Facebook jail. It's all wild. Ladies and gentlemen, Nug Nugs and Bonquisha, file on in. Nest on. Get your, get your popcorn, your Nestle Crunch, all your little sweets and delicacies. Nestle in is going down tonight. <laughs> also, shout out to El Paulino. She gifted a channel membership. And per usual, she come back with the super sticker. Appreciate you, the pleasant El Paulino. Yes. And my guy Q says, salute, jive, turkeys. Let's do this. Oh, I got cool. a prediction. I have no idea what's going on with the Baraka. I know as much as y'all do. Y'all probably know more than me. But I'm going to say her house blew up. <laughs> it's got to be. What? A, how How? How else can they up the ante here? They, they up in the pole. They 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 doing all types of wild egregious things to one another on a daily. So I would imagine, you know, a little meth lab incident. <laughs> oh, and also I, I see like Izzy DeVoe come through the ten dollars. We well, yeah, we gonna get in the dime. It's amazing. Stay tuned. Stay tuned. If we get there, <laughs> let's see how tonight. Because the Kendra madness is on another level. Like so, house what. <laughs> Izzy DeVoe says, good evening, um, single by choices. Last stream, somehow my currency setting got switched and I couldn't super chat. Problem fixed. Here's my makeup uh, gratuity for all the value single by choices provides. That's all. We're just trying to provide some value, even if it's the equivalent to Walmart's great value. We're trying to give y'all something. (laughs) And also... Shout out to Divine Photos. Says, good evening, fellas. Have you seen the trend BBL smell bad out, women? Wipe it. Yeah, I seen that. Oh. Ooh, what? What are you there talking you know. about? Yeah, I don't know if that woman smelled bad or if all of them smell bad. I don't know, man. All of the BBL smell bad. Yeah, they said they can't reach back there and clean properly. I don't know. The real big ones. The real big one, so <laughs> <laughs> I'm over it. <laughs> I'm over it. What what did Dick Gregory tell us? What's back there, folks? Say it with me now. Do do the big old booty, and everybody says she's a fine booty. The booty is where the doo-doo is, boy. 
Hmm. See that? And shout out to Who's the Master. Says, good evening, my favorite ninjas. I wonder if Mr. Walker ate all those cinnamon rolls. I want, he says. It, it it one sit yeah. Two sittings. Two sittings. No glaze. Hey, you know what? Real rap. Y'all have ruined stuff like that, like icings and, you know, <laughs> loose icing. I, <laughs> it's, I can't do glaze on my cinnamon rolls because of y'all. Long story short. Listen, yeah, shout out to them cinnamon rolls. I, Mr. Walker, I got me a, a package of them cinnamon rolls. Things was fire. Shout yeah. out to Mr. Walker's wife for the cinnamon rolls. All right. Here we yes. go. Yes. There you go. <laughs> yeah. Boom, shakalaka. So, homemade. Homemade from scratch, people. There you All go. Right. That's how we do it. That's that merry life. Ooh, y'all single folks don't know nothing about it. Yeah, those cinnamon rolls was hitting. I ain't gonna hold you. I forgot. I meant to, I thought I sent you that picture. Yeah, and they yeah. healthy, they sourdough. So you know what I'm saying? They good for your intestines because Mr. Walker had old man stomach nowadays. So they, they good for you. Y'all ain't see that? That's crazy work. Shout out to the all the all the from scratch wives out there in the world. Appreciate y'all. Yes, sir. And also shout out to Sir Charles. Says, let me know how to get the emojis back. You gotta be a channel member. I see you don't have a badge next to your name, so there you go. <laughs> you gotta join the channel membership. You see the join button. Like I said, if you're on the Apple device, whole another story. But you gotta go on to like a PC, maybe a TV, but you can't use an Apple device. And I, that's what I heard. I don't know. But yeah, you gotta be a channel member nonetheless. So if somebody gives out some memberships tonight, maybe you'll get one. If not, you gotta click the join button. There you go. But other than that, we're going to get into it. All right. Um, <laughs> make sure we good. Also, shout out to everybody with the Versace gear. Let us know if y'all gear came in. Um, shout out. We got a cash app from Bernard Gohard. We appreciate all the support. He's been raining the twos and fuse on us. Appreciate and you. Also, shout out to Cynthia. All right. Cynthia. Is a woman, if you're watching Cynthia, show yourself in the chat or if you catch the replay. She's a diehard fan. She's a woman. I want to say she's 60 years old and she says she watches it. She she puts her kids on to it. And she came on, nonetheless, she came and ordered her, her son a Fosachi hoodie today. So, <laughs> yeah, boom, shakalaka. That's too dope. Hey, Cynthia, you got to make sure he know the movie reference from it, especially if he, he a youngster. Yeah, show him. Introduce him to Uncle Elroy in, well, no, in moderation. No, about, I want to say he's about 30 or so. Okay. So. He, he definitely should know. <laughs> so, yeah, she got her son a Fosachi hoodie. I thought that was pretty cool. And she, you know, she emails us, let us know she watches the channel and she, she likes it over here. That is awesome. We doing what we can. Appreciate y'all. So, shout out to her. All right. So, we're going to get into it, man. <laughs> Also, shout out to Cole Sounds for the ten dollars super chat. Says he says shout out to the ah uh, the hibachi specialist X and Walker. He says what aroma should we the sheeple expect? I want to call y'all the sheeple. Yeah, no sheeples. Yeah, that's an insult. Yeah, that's really yeah. it. <laughs> yeah, sheeple over here. Well, my man say it's the intellectual standard over here, folks. Yeah, shout out to Beans with the Z, <laughs> baby. Yeah, we we uh we smart intellectuals with much brains over this way. <laughs> but nonetheless, he says burnt, flavorful, savory, sweet, sweet and sour. Let us know all that. I, yeah, yeah. You, you listen here. <laughs> Got to know by now. You by the end of the night, you are gonna get every sense gonna get overloaded. Sweet, savory, salty, spicy, burnt to a mother loving crisp. You are gonna get all that. <laughs> and we gonna dive right in. We ain't gonna keep y'all waiting because, like I said, we got a full show lined up. Some stuff probably gonna get cut out. We'll see if we can uh, get some dime mucho madness because. At least all we need is a couple minutes for real. Okay. Dime was involved in a high speed chase. House burned down, high speed chase. I'm gonna keep <laughs> going as the show goes on. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think y'all gonna guess it. So I mean <sighs> it, ain't, it ain't the wildest thing. It's just it's more dime madness. We just keeping up with dime. We ain't brought her out in a while. 
I love it. I love it. She got a new outfit. She cut her hair, all of her hair off. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> Here we go. We're going to get right into it. Caught this timestamp. Shout out to Pharaoh Kingdom. Pharaoh's Kingdom says, I wonder if Gavin will make a witty hunting tea. I don't even know who that is. Who's yeah. Witty Hutton? <laughs> Y'all be making this work up here. Y'all, <laughs> I know we say we journalists, but man. Hey, that's the funniest thing. Like, y'all really be just said, like, do y'all really expect us to know who everyone is? We do pretty good. And some stuff we don't know. Uh, and like, say, the one, it was the one, uh, we still catch a heat for it. The one uh, reggaeton guy. Or the oh, one, yeah. He was something, uh, dance hall. Yeah, and somebody yeah. said something, and we ain't had no clue. They like that's the. If my wife was like, y'all didn't know who that was. No, and like how y'all know who like Diamond is, and y'all know who that is. I said, yeah, I don't know. We didn't always have cable and stuff. I don't know. <laughs> like yeah, a lot of stuff you got to have cable. A lot of TV I got to watch was over somebody else's house. So, so there's that. <laughs> and yeah, now I don't watch TV. Yeah. I don't watch TV as an adult. I don't watch. No, the only thing I watch is what the babies watch. Y'all know what time this is. All I know is Moana. We know faces, though. <laughs> we know faces. There you know go. movies and stuff. So if you say, oh, the guy from, we be like, oh, yeah. But y'all be coming up here with Cobble, with my man Cobble Pots and stuff. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, y'all uh, come with government names. Like Gav said, faces and maybe nicknames and stuff. That's, now we own something. Uh, yeah, no no sports either, Q. I don't, no sports. I can't. I know a lot of sports, but when it comes to the movies and trivia, I don't. I don't be knowing. Mm -mm. Nope. The actors and stuff, I don't be knowing. Shout out to El Paulino. She come back with another channel membership. We appreciate you, sister. Appreciate we'll get you. right into it now. Shout out to Who's the Master? Says Woody Hutton from Martin and Bruh Man. So is is, is he Bruh Man? Or yeah, is this Woody Hutton? <laughs> what, yeah i would never knew that and i don't like the fact that you gave me his name now because he don't look like no damn witty hutton if that's <laughs> okay they saying yes oh huh. yeah. <laughs> see then you like gavin said don't tell witty hutton say bro man for martin i'm like okay <laughs> how dare y'all not know witty hutton Hell, y'all stop. Yeah. Y'all stop the captivity right this second. Wasn't nobody watching the credits to see who Brubman from the, or, or am I tripping? Or y'all really was watching like who is Brubman from the fifth floor? Witty Hutton. Yeah, what, else, what else do y'all know him from? So clearly y'all must know him from something else. I don't yeah. know his man. I only know that ninja from the fifth flow. And I'll he be probably, honest. You're probably better known as Couch Negro anymore these days. Yeah. <laughs> People gonna say that's the couch Negro from Single by Choices. <laughs> Holy hell. Yeah. We rebranded him. Right, there we go. Tell you what, bro, man used to give me anxiety. Because like I said, like, with that hood mentality, like, every time bro, man came through, I thought shot, shots was going to ring out. What he was doing was not acceptable. Let's get that understood. I don't care how big he is. At one point, bro, man was going to have to catch a 4x4 four four to his chest coming man. through that window. I'm trying to tell you something. Yeah, bro, man, like to climb through windows as pleasant as can be. Big old, so, big old brawling ninja. No, bro, man, you got to catch heat. <laughs> there we go. Yeah, yeah, y'all got to stop with the governments. All right, FYI. Shout out to G Honda. Y'all are not journalists. G Honda. Stop the cap. <laughs> G Honda, listen here. Over, over him. Over here at Single by Choices, we started this here. Man, what you stop playing with it? We started this journalism movement, my man. All right, you just here. All right, <laughs> you just here. <laughs> here we go. Shout out to my guy Joker 98, been a channel member for seven months. Says that's bruh man. We don't do real names over here. Did y'all <laughs> really know who that was? Like, be honest, some of y'all. <laughs> that's what I'm saying. Ain't no way all y'all folk. Knew that brother's name was Witty Hatton Hutton, whatever. <laughs> Stop. Stop. Shout out to who's the master. Says they made Witty Hutton t-shirts. Y'all <laughs> black cars revoked. 
Listen. What's going on here? <laughs> let, let, yeah, I don't listen. <laughs> I think I've been lost my black card, supposedly. I don't think mine could be revoked, but nevertheless, I, y'all can have it. I don't care. That's fine. We with Leon King. All right, white folks tell us their secrets. So. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to Leon. <laughs> kind of true. <laughs> there, there we go. <laughs> All right, shout out to Project Leroy. He says, we need more hustle man from Martin Tracy Morgan. There you go. There you go. Shout out to my guy, Project Leroy. Yeah. Hey, what, happened, what happened to Tracy Morgan? After the, after he got all that bread from that Walmart accident, he just like, I'm straight. I ain't got the shuck and jack for y'all ninjas no more. Uh, <laughs> and, and shout money, 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 money. Shout out to MJ. Witty Hutton, Witty Houston. Bruh man, who's selling t-shirts? <laughs> AMJ said, who yeah. else? Put, put the motherfuckers on the shirt and hand it here. There you go. Couch Negro. Couch Negro on the shirt. Perhaps, like I said, down the pike as the years go on, ain't too much going to be off the table. In the meantime, my beautiful family, let's enjoy what we do have. And said, reflecting on what we don't have. Like, like I ain't going to even let it go. That, that part. <laughs> And shout out to that lady Jay for joining the channel membership. Appreciate, Appreciate you. your sister. I see you in the chat. She be cutting up in the chat sometimes. Yes, she do. Yes, she do. Keep eye on her. And shout out to SPC Dolman. Come through, said, "Let's ride, fellas. I'm listening." Here we go. Here we go. Huh? And here we go. Here we y'all can listen. First thing, listen, y'all. Y'all got to start giving credit where we can. Y'all absolutely crucified that sister come up here with her with her hairline starting right here. Now, this one here, she got a widow's peak. Her ish is intact. Give her her props, and let's go. <laughs> here we go. Hit the like button. Half off, shorty. <laughs> I am from Palm Bay, Florida, by way of Mississippi. Mm -hmm. Palm Bay, Florida? Okay. Um, I have three children. That? Two of them are grown. They're both in college. And I have a 15-year-old daughter. 23. What about your kids 23. Age? 23. Okay. I have a son that's 23. <laughs> here we go. So here we go. For one, divine photos. I I see what you was trying. You was a little slow on the draw. She got some words out, but um, yeah, it's over. You see that? This <laughs> this is not single by choices. This is not this is not carpet for the horse. It's a combination of it. But this is the chat. This is this this is the sexual marketplace. Mm -hmm. They said we see we see what we see, and we don't want to hear nothing. <laughs> yeah, she come up here looking beyond rough. All right. Um what well, y'all didn't give her a chance. Like y'all y'all don't know. Maybe she <laughs> do the Kendra cam. Maybe she built brazy. How old is she? What her name is? Y'all don't even know. <laughs> yeah, divine photo set. Hell to the no. To the no no no. Hell to the no. Oh, y'all calling her John Witherspoon. Oh, y'all ain't got no manners. Yeah, boy. <laughs> this is sad. <laughs> yeah, boy. <laughs> uh -uh. I tell you what, it's been a couple weeks, but I think this is appropriate right now. All right. She come up here looking like that. Go on ahead. Get her. Get her, uh, Mr. Wilson. Get her. All right, but all I want to say to Tierney, can you comb your hair like that? Tierney, can you comb your hair like that? Can you comb your hair like that? Can I comb my hair like that? I got more hair yeah, than that. Know. So yes, I can no, comb no, my hair like that. No, no, this is my real hair. This is my real hair. God gave me this. See, I was born with this. See, I can comb my hair like this. Can you take a nappy like, comb and do your hair? Do your hair like that right now. Do your hair like that right now. 
let your mama hear. You come your hair like that. Yeah, you yes. <laughs> what how you was that our last uh Regal Rumble panel? Or at least one, one of the, 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 the larger. That was our last larger Regal Rumble panel. It went absolutely nuts. And I don't think we really recovered <laughs> since. Yeah. But here we are. Uh, Mrs. Witherspoon here. Yeah, matter of fact, rest in peace to John Witherspoon. He was too funny, man. That dude was hilarious. And But nevertheless, huh? Is he reincarnated? No, I think not. This ain't him. <laughs> so there I you do, go. I want to see the Kendra uh, Cam and see what's going on uh, with her head. <laughs> Kendra Cam. All right. Let's see if we can fast forward a little bit. How old is she? What her name is? You know what? We I keep forgetting we actually have whoa. a Gwendolyn. What nothing to whoa, what whoa. nothing to miss, Gwendolyn. What nothing to miss. Oh, hey, run it back. It only take $20 to run it back. <laughs> FYI. <Yeah. laughs> All right. $20. <laughs> Let me see if we catch this Kendrick Cam. Somebody drop that dub. Y'all want to keep hearing her cook. <laughs> we had the one sister come up here and she literally did not get a a verb. Not a verb, not a consonant, not a vowel out. <laughs> and she was out of there. This was close. So here we go. We'll catch this Kendra Cam. Yourself, if you said the last time you wore yourself, you was so well, well, Christmas time, I was 189. Okay. So. Well, Christmas time, girl, you ain't. <laughs> at this moment. But it's okay. We're still saluting you. She on one, man. What'd she uh, say? She talking about Christmas time. She was 189. Uh, listen. What yeah. Was Chris yeah. Christmas time. <laughs> what? How long does Christmas time last? Because it ain't just the 25th. What is it? The oh, day? man. Oh, did she got piercings? Here we go. What's that? Granny nips? Granny Granny Pierce nips? <laughs> is, that looked like an old... Is that a... Oh, that's her? Oh, that's the same one. Here we go. Don't let this go. So we're getting off of this. Here we pounds. go. So now I'm like less than 200 pounds. Let's see if you go. You less than 200 pounds? I've lost like 200 and 200 and 20 ish pounds so far, 240 ish pounds so far. 40 ish. She messed up. So, so you weigh 180 so right now? Roughly, yeah. Last time I weighed myself, I was 189. Okay, move back, honey. Well, congratulations on losing weight. How did you do that? Um, diet and exercise. <laughs> we got to see your last day. <laughs> so you weigh, you weigh 189? I'm going to try 200. And how tall are you? My top weight was 350. My top weight was 357. Not, not I wasn't trying to be funny. Okay. What? But, but th and this is no judgment. But we're very happy that you lost weight. But mm -hmm. I think you might. So I'm, more I think than the last time I weighed myself, I was like two twenty six, two twenty seven, something like that. So why did you just tell me you was one eighty nine? Because I, I had lost some weight, but then I gained some back. So my last time I weighed myself I was like one eighty nine, and then I made a lot, gained like twenty pounds or so. So you know. <laughs> You shut your line, nigga lips up. Here we you know go. What? I'm I'm so happy that we can do y'all not hear how she's talking. She is whipping up some of the most potent bright hawk who do I done ever heard. She like, you know, last time I weighed myself, I was 180 on this on this engine. I was. How long ago was that, Bone Quisha? Huh? Five months ago. Hmm. Then she's gonna say, Yeah, now I'm probably like 240. So that's what, listen. She said she was 180. Now she about 240. Kendra said, Why you say you was 180? She said, Well, I was 180, but I probably didn't gain 20 pounds by now. 20 pounds will put you at 200, not 240. You didn't gain at least 60 freaking pounds. Stop saying the 20. That's 60. Do you not see when these women listen? This is education. It may seem crazy and wild like we're in the same asylum, but it's it's some education to be had. This is what happens to these sisters whenever they don't get no pushback. Whenever no one tells them, hey, that's incorrect. Hey, you're lying. <laughs> this is what they just what you get. Just 
compulsive liars. So here we go. We're going to move off this, sister. Go comb your hair, man. Yeah, she had the. Did she have? She either had them um, pierced nips, or she had you know sometimes the nipple. Those female nipples got the. They got the two little (laughs) things on the side. The little feelers. (laughs) Terrible. So here we go. Hit the like button if you're just coming in, folks. We go keep it moving. Um, this is terrible. All right. We done with her. Mm, mm, mm. That was quick. That was a quick boy. Yeah, shout out to Divine Photos. I believe that was Divine Photos. Yeah, Divine Photos came through. We appreciate you. <laughs> also, Pharaoh's Kingdom says this chick got the John Weatherspoon hairdo. It's unfortunate. Yeah, boy. <laughs> and shout out to the chief. Come through, says SSJ Vegeta. Stop training and go. To... Yeah, she did have that uh Super Saiyan hair going, huh? I didn't catch that. Shout out to Vegeta. Or as y'all would say, the people of what's that one movie y'all always say? I yeah. forget the reference now, but the Fraggle Rock. Uh, <laughs> not Fraggle Rock. All right. Shout out to Rajabi. <laughs> Let's get the next Mr. Walker. I see the 30 minute monologue has become a norm to start off the show. I'm here for it. Not really. We be trying to get into it. Y'all you know, we, did this. Yeah, we feed off y'all, man. Yeah, y'all did this. Y'all, yeah. It just come natural dealing with y'all. Yeah, we, it's like it's like y'all like family, so we gotta talk. <laughs> That's all. Shout out to Richai Media in the house. Uh, let us know your Versace hoodie should be there, you know, probably should be there today or tomorrow, you know. Oh. Sachi, baby. <laughs> and shout out to Skinny Boy says that Simon Phoenix from Demolition Man. Know That's who that is. I'm... Yeah, now I know who that is. <laughs> there we go. Shout, <laughs> shout out to Q. He says, is this what they think men deserve? No effort? Uh, she has some. She has some long boobies for you. Huh. And shout out to Who's the Master says she gonna have the Lord Unk back to the cave. Ain't nobody dealing with that woman. <laughs> shout out, shout out, shout out to Divine Photos. He says in Mississippi, we know they not smarter, the smartest brunt, smartest bunch. bunch. Yeah, mm-hmm. that whole Gulf Coast, respectfully. Yeah, yeah, that's where my folk from. And here's the thing, stop. That's where a lot of our folks is from. A lot of y'all. Go ahead, I dare y'all just. Trace where y'all grandma and them from. Y'all gonna get Louisiana, Mississippi, Alabama, the Carolinas. Yeah, go ahead. Look deeper. <laughs> so here we go. We're gonna get back into it. Um, I think we'll still stay a half off shorty. All right, here we go. What's your name, boo? I'm Doreen. Doreen, where you calling me from? I'm calling from Doylestown, Pennsylvania. Say again? Doylestown, Pennsylvania. PA? How far is that from Philly? That's about an hour from Philly. Okay. Doreen from Pennsylvania. How old are you, boo? I'm 31. 31? What you do for a living? Uh, I work in mental health. Mental health? Um, Do you have any children? I have three kids. Three kids. How old are your kids? Uh, two, eight, and ten. Two, eight, and ten. All about the same man? No. How many men? Uh, three. Why are you not with the two-year-old dad? Um, it just didn't work out. Uh, we just, it just didn't work out. <laughs> just yeah. didn't work out? Okay. Um, Doreen, have you ever been married? I've never been married. Never married. Um, what are, um, what's your zodiac sign? I'm a Virgo. Virgo, you're a Virgo. All right. So we got Doreen, Pennsylvania, 31, mental health. Mine of three kids by three men, never married. Uh, never. What kind of man are you looking for, baby? So I'm looking for a man, you know, just for the vibe. Um, just somebody just simple, easy, you know, nothing complicated. Okay. What are your deal breakers? Um, somebody that don't take care of his kids, um, and somebody that, you know, don't love his mother or, you know, being his kids' lives. Okay. Being his kids' lives. Are your children's dads in their lives? 
Yes. They are? Okay. What would you say to a man that might be concerned that you have a two-year-old? Um, it's nothing to say. I don't know. No. I don't know. I'm nervous. I'm nervous. <laughs> You're nervous. You're nervous. Okay. Do you not understand how we can um, be concerned? Sometimes people are concerned dating people with younger children because you're still so connected with the child's father. No, I'm not. I'm not connected with him. You're not connected with him? No. Okay. Huh. Here to the no. To the no, no, no. Here to the no. It's over before it started. This is a classic first 48 right here. Ooh. A good old three for three the hard way. <laughs> Jeez. Can y'all can y'all taste the dust? My word, here we go. Y'all know how we get down over here. We like to be very observant, okay? Just just for the sake of journalism, if you will. So here we go. This this sister here, come on here, man. She's just homely. It's unfortunate. Homely sister from PA. There you go, G Honda. The standard is the standard. And there's a lot of homie sisters here in PA, man. And not poking fun, just observable, observable realities. And I think it's because of the diet. What's the PA diet? Sausages, jumbo, pierogies, and sauerkraut, and 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 gyros, and salad with fries on them. So, so that's how you get all these homely folks. And here we go, y'all. See the background. I know y'all own it. We got wall panels. We got quarter round uh, crown mode. <laughs> Y'all know what it is. That is for show, for show. No hate, no no shade, but you know it's it, that's definitely you know a nice little manufactured home right there. For show, for show, for show. That boy's still on wheels. So <laughs> yeah, it's it's very much given rough, rugged, and dusty. That's not good for a dating show. <laughs> so here we go. Shout out to EJ Uno. He says, remember when they used to get themselves together before coming on Kendra's show? Now they come on looking all kind of way. Her her gown. Y'all calling it a gown. That's why I hesitated. I don't think it's a gown. Her top is like ripped. She got that <laughs> jail shoulder tattoo. It's wicked work on the screen right now. I'm just Ooh. touching the surface. <laughs> Man. Shout out to who's the master. Says, eyes tied, boss. So tired. Uh, <laughs> and that lady J says, coming up here looking like the female wide neck. Ooh. Ooh see that? And yeah. I like that one. Yeah. <laughs> Shout out to Tony. Come checking in from Canada, as he always do. Says Michael Clark Duncan. The pink. The pink. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. Walking the mile, boss. Walking the mile. And shout out to Sal, uh, newest channel member. See, he became a channel member. We appreciate it. Says three kids from Pookie, Ray Ray, and Nug Nug. Mm -hmm. And All so what about two-year-old? She said, you ain't got to worry about it. You ain't got to worry about it. You ain't got to worry about it. <laughs> well, she about to be foe for foe and so forth and so on. What else that, what out front her house look like? Huh? It, huh. Her, her steps empty right down into mud. <laughs> and it's the old busted grill out front. Some kids' toys, they all faded by the sun. One of them little seven dollar uh kitty pools you get from Walmart, sun faded. Y'all know what the front of that house looks like. <laughs> this is rough. Shout out to Frederick Howard, who's been a channel member for two months. Said single by choice nation and you sensitive ear ninjas. <laughs> Shout out to Frederick Howard. And Richard Media says she in Pennsylvania. There you go. Uh, so the guy look a certain way. Um, no, I like bigger guys. Um, maybe like uh five eight to maybe six foot. Okay, five eight to six feet. Mm -hmm. Um, should he make a certain amount of money? Um. Maybe like in between, like uh, forty to fifty. Yeah, forty to fifty. Yeah. Um, could he have kids already? Yes, most definitely. He yes. Can. Do you want? Do you want more children? Um, I don't know. That's up in the air. I'm not sure about that. Okay. Um, kids, should he be in Pennsylvania? Yes. 
Yeah. You should be in Pennsylvania. Okay. Do you have an age range you want to date? You're 31. So probably like 29 to 37. 29, 37. All right, let's do the Kendra Cam. Oh God, Jesus. <laughs> um it's like kind of like messed up. Uh oh God. If I can get the camera. I'm like in my nightgown. I'm sorry. Yeah, that's about it. No, we can't see. We gotta see your Kendra cam, honey. We can't see you. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> we gotta see your legs. It's like can we see your legs? Okay. Yeah. All right, like, okay. Yeah, we got you. Now. We can yeah. see now. Yeah. Okay. I'm like kind of like in my nightgown. I'm sorry. <laughs> kind of. Okay. Dorian, Dorian, right? Yes, Doreen. Doreen. When was your last relationship? Uh, It was two years ago with my youngest son, Sarah. Okay. You don't have to answer, but I'm going to ask. When's the last time you was intimate with someone? It was two weeks ago. Who you was with two weeks ago? What? <laughs> he was an old ex. What? Is he your children's dad? No, he's not. Okay. Is he an option? Definitely not. She up here, that big sweaty male dude infested boob about to fall out. Mm. <laughs> mm. Come on, man. Come on, real rap now. Come on now. What that smell like in there? Come on, use y'all, use y'all common sense. <laughs> What do it smell like in there? She just got done hunching in there about a week ago. Uh -huh. She got there's so much DNA and, and and residue all throughout that trailer park. Nug Nug came over there about a week ago and shifted that whole mobile home about <laughs> two inches to the left. <laughs> Going to town on her big brutish dusty self. Nug 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 was in there knocking the dust. Off of that kudakata, and she had listen. I don't feel bad for none of these post sisters. Look at her, look at this sister. She came up here on Beyonce's internet on Kendra's show. Y'all can that nightgown. There is not an appealing smell within freaking ten feet of her. Seriously, like she did it to herself, man. And it's unfortunate. <laughs> Shit. So here we go, man. Shout out to EJ Uno. We gonna make this short and sweet for her. Yeah. What we got? What's the shortest, sweetest thing we can do that requires no energy? <laughs> <laughs> we need to get the dang going Acme Anvil off of a uh, off a of Road Runner and the Wiley Coyote and just clung, just done <laughs> with them, just <laughs> straight anvil work. There we go. Yeah, this one here, I'm so disappointed. Mm. This is terrible. All right, old school band. Yeah, let's just call it what it is. Yeah, at least it's definitely over. <laughs> yeah, at the very least, this is right. sad. Even Kev, even Kev would have been a little pleasant to her. He'd have been like, I'm, I'm, "It's okay, it's okay." All right, you ready? Here comes a song for you now. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> Listen, she could be smelling like, you know, uh, pineapples and cherry almond lotion right now. She could be smelling good, but the world will never know because of how she presented herself this day and that day. <laughs> she very much giving funk. Yeah, you, we should never see a woman's boobs or sad boob and be saying, ugh. Like that ain't those things don't do see sad boob and they start slobbering a little bit. But like, okay, yeah, I would like to have some milk now. But y'all seen her and y'all was like, "Where's the Febreze? You know, where's the Mister Yuck stickers?" And that son, that is all due to her presentation. She chose this. Talking about she kind of in her nightgown. That was true. She is kind of in her nightgown. She kind of in it and she kind out of it. There you go. So <laughs> net net of it. All right, go on get you some Ozempic or something man. <laughs> figure it out. I, I see everybody shedding weight like crazy out here. Get y'all some Ozempic. Keep it moving. Ain't no excuse right now. Ain't no excuses. Get you some Ozempic. Hey, do what you got to do.
Yeah. Get some results. Hell, there you go. <laughs> Start somewhere because y'all, y'all in trouble, man. Here's the thing. I believe today's modern folk, especially Bone Quisha, y'all didn't talk this into y'all existence. Y'all in y'all thirties. And y'all very much given fitty. And I think that's all because of y'all moving. What was it? YOLO? You only live once? Yeah, y'all only seem to live once and for a very short time. Y'all better watch it, man. Yeah, It's going to be a whole lot of home-going services coming up. Y'all uh, get y'all diets and y'all nug-nugs, right? <laughs> so there you go. Also, we got a cash app from the Mass Man. Says, I only watch single by choice and cart before the horse. Hit the like button, people. Yeah, the movement continues, baby. Appreciate you. There you go. And yeah, so for that, sister, uh, shout out to Frederick Howard. Says, Young Thug, are you out of jail? Yeah, she look like she ate Young Thug. Man, listen, y'all say what y'all want. Y'all can go over there right now. And uh, get y'all some blackberry cobbler. That's all she down for. She said, I'm looking for a vibe, something simple. It ain't complicated. I just hunched last week. Come on. <laughs> uh-huh. Shout out to EJ Uno says, that's a shame. Yeah, that's a daggone shame. And Skinny Boy come through, says, all right, fellas, Dennis Rod Woman or Mark Henrietta? Yeah. Listen, here's the thing about Mark Henrietta. <laughs> y'all know she hunching. That's the thing, like, Nug Nug is so in root, it ain't even funny. She said, I just hunched about a week ago, and all I'm looking for somebody simple has stuff. I'm looking for a vibe. Nug Nug said, where are my black Air Forces, dog? Can I get a ride? It's done. It's already done. And she young and fertile. Y'all sisters be so fertile these days, it don't even make sense. And she she horned up. She she hunched about a week ago, and she back on here because she didn't like it. She didn't get her she didn't get her feel. So now she's like, I'm gonna call Kendra because I'm I I'm butt naked up on Kendra with my boob. Hang- you don't think she know her boob hanging out? She's like, mm-hmm. Nug Nug, come on, get this catnip. <laughs> mm-hmm. And shout out to Divine Photos. Says she looked like a busted dot from Animaniacs. Animaniacs. <laughs> <laughs> And that's yeah. unfortunate for her. Yes, it is. Uh, <laughs> so here we go. We are at a segment in the show. One thing I've been noticing on the Kendra show lately, there has been a lot of women in law enforcement. Mm. All right. So we're going to touch on it. This going to be a whole segment right here. I guess we'll dive deep, you know. And Okay. Law enforcement sisters. Shout out. <laughs> I don't know if I want to say. <laughs> yeah, y'all, y'all need law enforcement. Let's be clear. Most most civilians, y'all desperately need law enforcement. Y'all do. Y'all. <laughs> so here we go. Hit the like button if you're just coming in. Catch this time stamp. Um, shout out to my guy Joker Day Nate, the show sponsor. Shout out to EJ Uno for getting that big sister off the screen because I don't think she was finished. <laughs> What you say, Monique? Monique say, y'all are mean. Y'all stay saying women in their 30s be hunching. But then for the ones that don't, we suffer from arrested development. We, you include yourself in that, Monique? No, no. We never said that somebody, somebody that's not hunching equals arrested development. Those two, that doesn't go hand in hand. Arrested development is just from not growing up. We don't, hunching don't <laughs> develop you. <laughs> <laughs> so here we go hit the like button we get into these law enforcement sisters Ooh, that's the police right. <laughs> also we have 40 dollars skips so here we go let's do it we got jonica maryland 34 leo police officer no kids never married what kind of man you looking for girl um, I want a leader. Like, I want a man that's able to lead and communicate. Like, I'm very simple, and my job is so demanding. So my therapist, yeah, I got a therapist. She tells me, like, <laughs> I have to be able to take my my boots off, my duty belt, and put my heels on. So, like, I really need a man that can lead because I feel like there's times where I can be aggressive or I can be the leader, and, like, like I'm I'm trying to get out of that. 
So that's what I need, a leader and a communicator. A leader and a communicator. What are your deal breakers? Um, people that don't communicate, um, liars, and that's about it. Just non-communicators and liars. I'm very simple. Okay. What about a parent? Should he look a certain way? Um, I'm five seven, so I would like someone a little bit taller than me, maybe six feet. Um, I could do five eleven because that's taller than me as well. Um. I do like dark men, but I'm not picky. So, you know, I'm not gonna do the color thing. So no, he doesn't have to look a certain way. I'm into fitness, so I'm sorry, but yeah, maybe a fit guy. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta be a fit guy. Okay. What about money? Do you need to make a certain amount of money? No, no, we can build and grow together. So no, I'm not about money. I take very good care of myself, so I'm not, I'm not gonna be like, oh, I need for you to take care of me. Like, uh -uh. I'm good. Okay, let's do the Kendra cam. Okay, hold on, let me step back. Okay, can you see me? Yes, we can see you. Looks like you're in good shape. All right, where we at here? Um, how old is she? Didn't catch it. Didn't catch. Didn't catch how old she was. Nor did I hear anything about kids. I don't think she got no kids. She coming all across like a woman with no kids. She she too light, too light hearted, especially being law enforcement. <laughs> so I'm gonna say go. she got no. She ain't got no kids. I'm gonna say that. Uh, correct. Correct us here, chat. So she 34, no kids. And here's the thing with this. Let's see. We we talk about the occupational hazard of being in law enforcement and military. But here's the thing. All right. She said she wanted a man and she cut. She said, look, I need a, I need a, she need a man. So you just got to go in there and be able to, <laughs> to dominate her. That's what, that's what they, she's saying. She's like, I'm a strong boy. I wear boots. My therapist, I need to take my boots off. I'm having a hard time. You got to come in and defeat her masculinity with your ample amounts of masculinity and muscle mass otherwise she's gonna slam you so know that too okay so 34 i i thought she was giving 40 but all right here we go gotta be up to the task yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so Janika, do you want to be in maryland um i'm gonna say no because it sucks dating in the dmv so i'm gonna say no he doesn't have to be in maryland but you're a police officer so would you relocate for love I would. I live. I'm. I'm originally from Chicago, and I moved from Chicago okay. to Miami, from Miami to Maryland. So I have no problem moving. Do you want? Can the guy have kids already? Yeah, that's fine. Okay. All right. When was your last relationship? My last serious relationship was in 21, 2021. Okay, you don't have to answer, but I'm gonna ask. When's the last time you was intimate with someone? July of 2023. Okay. Three flaws you have to work on. Um, patience. I have to work on being patient because I can be very impatient. Um, I have to work on being on time because like I move very slow. So I do take my time with a lot of things. I need to work on time. And um, I'm going to say listening. Like I listen, but like I'm I'm really learning how to like really like hear what the person is saying and not speak, you know, react off emotions. So let me say that. So learning how to not react off my emotions. And I tell you what, hell there's been a lot of talk. See, somebody in the chat just said it about all this relocation talk. Mm -hmm. And it's it's something that we rarely touch on, if ever, and it's a lot lately, Kendra, will you relocate for love? What What do you mean? You, you got sisters in every state. They all can't. What, you going to start shuffling them around? Yes. Right. That's what's needed. That's the next step. The majority of the bone quiches say that the men in their city, state, or tri-state area are all garbage. So, yeah, Kendra said, all right, I'm about to shuffle y'all around like the three-card Monty and see if y'all can get some better results. Hence, will y'all relocate for love? 
That's amazing. And I see, like y'all was saying, all them six figure men in DC. Are we kidding? Listen here. This is the too masculine. She she want what she want. She want a select, strong alpha male that when she come in all masculine, she can't top his masculine. Do you not understand? The guy that she demanded can have dang near any woman he want. And why? That's what, why we ask y'all. Why would he choose her? Her. Why? And and she's a whole task. Man. And shout out to who's the master. Come through with the five dollars. We appreciate you, brother. He says, I would never trust a woman who work, works around men a lot. He huh. says, I guess that makes me insecure. No, it don't. No, it don't. See, no, it does not make you insecure. I promise you, I'm I'm secure to an ignorant level. It's just smart. Ain't just gonna leave your woman run all these all this testosterone near near deletion experiences. That's gonna get emotions and stuff wound up. Come on, don't play with it, <laughs> man. And shout out to my guy, Project Leroy. Says relocating equals running from her past traumas. Perhaps. Yeah, like you said, try to go to another city and dump that on another man. It's over. Mm -hmm. Land your plane. Okay. All right. And why would a guy be lucky to be with you? Um, I'm fun and bubbly. Um, I say, well, I'm not gonna say I take good care of myself, even though I do. But like, I like to travel, so I don't know. Like, I'm just a fun person to be around. I'm very simple. I don't require too much. So, <laughs> yeah. All right, let's do it. We got Jonica, Maryland, 34. What's the age range you would date? Um, 35 to 45. 35 to 45. She is a police officer. She has no kids. Do you want children? I do. Does all right, let's do it, boo. How could the guy reach out to you? Um, they can reach out to me on Instagram. My name is Zeta Baby Z A T A B A B Y underscore fitness F I T N E S S underscore. All right, boo, keep me posted. How it goes, girl. So, there we go for all the journalists out there. Let us know what y'all see in that Instagram. We don't got her queued up. So, if it's you know, if it's public and it's something near, let us know as we closing out on her. But what I would yeah. say, what what makes a woman wants to want to be a, in law enforcement? Like I can't outside of like, all right, maybe if your dad or your grandfather, like it's something family related, but I don't know, man. Just up, especially just I don't. Listen, I got <laughs> no. It is what it is, man, and that's one thing I like about our culture. Like I've got some friends that are in law enforcement. You know what I'm saying? Some at least got a couple of female acquaintances. And they are harder than most. You know what? That's just what it is. Like it takes a special kind of woman to get in when to get into an uh, occupation where she may have to wrestle men into submission and <laughs> cuff them. Come, come on with it. And now. a lot of them, a lot of them are ex-military as well. So you get a lot of mm -hmm. these women. Not only are they cops, but they are also ex-military. And it's like, man, that's a double whammy. There you go. Yeah, like there you go. What makes a woman want to get to become a police officer? If there's any in the chat, let us know. We don't know. We have a degree of ignorance too. We have no idea. But to us, oh, it comes. I mean, I'm sure it's some married wives that are cops. Yeah. I don't want all police to come in, but yes, yeah. Then listen, I didn't seen it all. Then seen you know female cops get married, currently getting married. You know what I'm saying? Then seen, you know, ladies married to male cops, and then that male cop go ahead and get with one of the female cops. It's a lot. Law enforcement is a heck of a world, you know. I ain't gonna get into it. I'm gonna not go down rabbit holes. <laughs> and shout out to Divine Photos says she said she needs to work on her emotions, and she's a cop. So that means if things get bad, she will put the blicky on your head and plant some evidence. Get you locked up. I hope not, man. God, no. That's a lot. That's a lot, Divine. Be careful. I e don't date her then. That's what he's saying. <laughs> and Project Leroy says many police officers sleep with their partners. And like I said, we got a whole little segment here. We're gonna touch on it. Yeah, that part. 
It's listen. And who said that somebody in one of the ladies in the chat said, oh, y'all need to trust y'all partners. Don't be like that. Listen, it ain't got nothing to do with that. We are when we say, you know, they're going to sleep with their male partners. We are addressing primitive nature. That's y'all problem. Y'all like, oh, I love him. She loves, you know, all this love, love, lovey, dovey. You still have a primitive nature. Stop it. Stop. Y'all keep playing like, go ahead. <laughs> I'm not going to do this. It ain't insecure. It's being logical, reasonable. And shout out to EJ Uno. Says, catch and release. Nah, I probably would say more like junior band, maybe. Yeah. But definitely not no catch and release. I, nah. No. Junior band work for show. Yeah, she, it's almost old. She about to be 40. This is just, you know, flesh wound before it's over. She need, she need to find a male cop that's, 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 you know, probably on SWAT, probably did some, did a, a tour in Desert Storm, you know, so he ain't that old, not too old. <laughs> and yeah, come on. I guess Desert Storm a long time from now, yeah. But you know what I mean. She need a hardened man. <laughs> so here we go, folks. You know, or maybe not. Maybe she don't need a hard man. Maybe she need a softer man. You know, there you go. Somebody to be take take the feminine place because she's the masculine. She. Light bubbly masculine. <laughs> that part. So here we go. Hit the like button if y'all just coming in. We still on this cop carousel. Here we go. Your phone steady. What's your name, honey? I'm my name is Tiffany. Tiffany, and where are you calling us from? Where do you live? Houston, Texas. Houston, how old are you? 31. 31. Do you have any children? I have one 10 year old son. One ten year old son. Okay, stop moving and don't cut your head off. Bring the camera up. Bring the, there we go. I wonder if the camera as can steady I as possible. Her? You can. Okay. Everyone is just, want to say that they love this. You guys are all saying I love fifty first date, so I'm gonna have to check this movie out. Yes. Okay. All right. All right so we got Tiffany Houston, 31, 10 year old son. So you have all oh, that. Have you ever been married? No, I haven't. Um, I'm trying to show us men. Just showing us up every day. She, you got well. Uh, Kendra G been showing up every day. You trying to get us some men, ain't you? <laughs> All right, back to you. Never married. What's your zodiac sign? I am a Sagittarius. And um, what do you do for a living? I'm a police officer. You're a police officer. <laughs> yeah. Hello, Mr. Officer. Woo! I a little way so, and I was just talking. I, the funny thing is, I literally, this is the truest story. I just hung out with Regine. <laughs> Y'all know Regine and Little Wayne's daughter. Uh, wee, wee, wee. Come here, Mrs. <laughs> officer. Do, you, do people always sing that song to you? It's breaking up a little bit. I'm sorry. But if I had yeah, a dollar to say, together. I heard that song. I can retire. I wouldn't have to do this. Hello? <laughs> yes, ma'am. Can you hear me? Yes. Does be, do people always sing that song to you? I stopped oh working God, the club. Ma'am? Say it again. So, yes. we work like side jobs. Have you ever seen like police officers at like the club or um, like banks and things? So, yes. we... Uh, we work side jobs and anywhere I work that has a DJ, whenever they see me, all of a sudden the uh, the song changed and I just hear that when I get up falling, yeah. And I'm like, is that for me? <laughs> yeah, oh, yes. I I of. your Wi-Fi, I hope I, I'm trying to walk through it, but I'm gonna try to walk through Let it. Let me okay, turn it off. If it's messing all up. Right, get it together can... now, Tiffany, cause I can't, what kind of man are you looking for? I was just talking to my homegirl about this. Um, I wasn't even anticipating being on the show tonight because I normally would have had my script pulled up. Well, but, you uh, pushed the you but no, no, you pushed the button to be here, so you were anticipating on getting selected. 
I was scrolling through Facebook and I get your notifications. And when I saw well, you, you I was like, oh. Okay, you push joy, but you push joy mm -hmm. to be on the show. You right. And I know you're going to get on me because you don't like excuses. So well, I mean, listen, uh, you can't, I don't understand the excuse of I wasn't expected to be on the show when you literally request to be on the show. I know. <laughs> like, I know. Like, like, like we do not have no conversation unless you request to be on the show. Yeah. Yes, ma'am. I understand. Oh. Um, the type of man that I like is someone who is consistent who has emotional intelligence with um, good communication or at least open to learning how to communicate. That's one of my biggest things. I just want someone who um, is, knows how to communicate with me and understands that we do, we all have our differences and someone who knows how to think before they react. Um, and I like a gentleman. I am kind of old soul. So I would like somebody who still, it, you know, believes in chivalry and not necessarily gender roles, but a man who knows how to be a man because I don't mind. I'm not the woman that's like, I, I don't need no man to do this. I don't need a man to open my door. Of course we don't need it, but I still will appreciate a man who's nice and sweet. And a gentleman. She a baby mama and a cop. At least the last woman had no kids. Third one. How old's her child? Ten. Ten years old. Uh, that's rough. How old is she? Thirty-one. Thirty-one. Ten. She had a kid at twenty-one. Okay, no teenage mama trauma. That's a plus at the very at the at the most. That's a plus. But yeah, she up here. Uh, if she didn't have a kid, she could say what she want, you know, for the most part. But she got she she is a she's a single mom and a cop. I'm sorry, but that's strike one through three. Who's your baby's father? What's the context? You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know what's going on. How are you law enforcement? I just don't know. I don't know what's going on out here. There you go. So we're going to let her cook a little bit. We're going to try to get some context. We got a cash app here from Andre. He come through, says she can be my real deal stomp down. <laughs> All right. Okay. Y'all smitten by this woman. Good for y'all. And shout out to DeMarcus. DeMarcus says most female cops have control issues. Yikes. Hey, cops. I mean, come on, man. It's to, they are, they are the bit, become a police officer to be come in, in uh what is it military it's some degree of brainwashing you get in reprogrammed you stop just you're a cop <laughs> shit <laughs> and my guy demarcus come back he says cop tiffany is getting smashed by the d-boys for show <sighs> let's possible. see let's see give her some rope okay what are your deal breakers Somebody said they need you. We didn't get to that point yet, but a, a guy already said I need her contact info ASAP. Ooh, that might be a little hard because if you're not a mutual friend, you might can't find me on Facebook. Um, well, let's continue on. We'll get there at the end. What are your deal breakers? I, I hate to say narcissistic tendencies because I know the word narcissism or narcissist has been overused. Um, it's one of the hyped up words, but I would, um, that's one of my deal breakers and um, drug users. I saw that you interviewed another woman in law enforcement and people were like, oh, she's not going to play. And that's why she's single now, because she's hard on men. But I promise you, I'm, I am not her. You know, I'm, I'm still young. So I haven't really had a lot of bad experiences. It's just, you know, we had differences. So um, hygiene, you know, it's kind of like superficial things. And uh, if, if you don't think that you can ever be wrong, you know, that's why I feel like having emotional intelligence is important because I want somebody who is self-aware. 
So I don't really have any strong deal breakers. I think my deal breakers would be the ones, something that um, most women wouldn't want to put up with, you know, mental abuse, physical abuse, poor hygiene and, and drug use. Okay. Now we got to look a certain way. No, I don't really have um, a particular type. I want to stop her for a minute. I see y'all in the chat with the narcissist. <laughs> and somebody was in the comments on one of the videos. Because I don't think we sit up here, like I said, they use that word freely. And they shouldn't be allowed mm -hmm. to. Because it's more egregious than we can all understand. Sure, to the you. point, like the other day where they was telling Mr. Walker, he was describing a sociopath. <laughs> and, and that's what we try to say. It gets so muddy down. And somebody was like, some of these men need to start suing these women when they call on them that because of what it, we don't even understand how serious the offense is. Yes. So, it's, I do believe it's a mental disorder. Like you, it's almost to the point where as an adult, you dang near don't know right from wrong. And you like, if it's for me, then it's good. And I don't care what it costs anybody else. Like I said, Y'all want to see narcissists? <laughs> Check out Always Sunny in Philadelphia. Is that's all it's about? It's the funniest issue on earth. <laughs> so I just wanted to touch on that real quick because uh, here we go. I just want I would like to be physically attracted to you because that's something that initially catches your eye. But <laughs> my friends say I I talk to ugly dudes. <laughs> your friends say what? They say that I talk to ugly guys. They like girl. Them men do not be cute. And I'm like, well, shoot. They cute to me. <laughs> That's all that matters. They cute to her. What about money? Should you make a certain amount of money? I don't have a dollar amount. The I just would like for him to be able to um, sufficiently take care of himself and his lifestyle. I would like a man who could, you know, supplement my lifestyle. And if I ever needed assistance, he would be able to help. But it's not a requirement because I understand we're not always, you know, financially okay. We all got to start somewhere, so. Okay. Let's do the kids or can. I literally got one sock on. <laughs> you got one okay. sock on, girl. I got one sock on. <laughs> okay. You really just got no. She got one sock. Again, I just ate. Okay, you look you're in great shape. You look I gotta good. be you I gotta still be, be running out for people. <laughs> I, I got a question. Huh? I said I still be chasing people. I got to. <laughs> <laughs> well, some men will happily fall for you. Like officer, who I'm you gonna chase me that hard. <laughs> they say I that. Until they get arrested, and then I'm all kind of names, and I'm like, You have the warrants, not me. <laughs> Listen, I'm thinking about adding this question, so you're going to be a person I'm trying it with. What's your idea of a first date? Oh, okay. Um, my ideal date in general, whether it's a first date or third date, I really want to have a picnic. That's that's something that I've really been wanting to do, but Houston is kind of cold right now. So um, whether it's on a beach or in the park, I I actually bought a picnic blanket. I'm trying to manifest. I'm like, somebody going to want to sit down in some grass with me. And like, I make some finger food. I even have a picnic basket and like wine glasses and stuff. Stop the cap. I can't. What's going on? Why are these women single? Y'all cap it. Because they try to make it. She said, my friends say I talk to ugly guys. You talk to ugly guys. You you ain't a bad looking sister. Where's, where's the hang up? Here we go. Here we go. She just said it. There we I'm so happy. She said, I got to stay fit, Kendra, because I still got to chase people. So there you go. Let's get some real life context. We talk about being at home in your chest tight because your woman run the streets at night. How about your chest being tight because your woman running the streets chasing criminals at night? Like, y'all talking about insecure what you want. A man, a real man, you got to be able to protect your woman. That's why most real men want to keep their woman at home where you're safe and sound and you can be in your feminine. 
you ain't in your feet. You out here in your mask. You run in the streets. You stepping. You tackling uh criminals, aggressive, violent offenders, and dog doo doo. You ain't nothing feminine about that. Come on, you in the hood, chasing criminals, jumping over crack needles and falling in dog doo doo and 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 big unks pee. Like this is her. This is her night. And you at home. You a grown man at home. You're like dog. Where your wife at? Oh, she out. Chasing criminals. <laughs> That's crazy. And, and what I take from that is, you know, perhaps ideally, you know, these female cops should be dating their counterparts. Like cops should, should probably date other cops. So y'all are most understanding. And but this next sister we're gonna bring out, she's gonna touch on it about the dynamics of the whole cops thing and you know, I guess they don't like dating each other. So that's a they're, they're, I would imagine not. Like I said, they both come home after hard days work and they both need their back rubbed. They both want their feet rubbed and they both want a sandwich. They huh. can't work. <laughs> and shout out to who's the master. He says, I don't give a how good she may look. She has a bastard child and a bunch of work husbands. All right. And a thousand simps that shoot their shot a day. That's true. Forget the simps, but the child and and them work husbands, it is what it is. Ain't insecurity, it's just facts. <laughs> and shout out to Pharaoh's Kingdom. Said had a kid at 21. She threw away her prime years. Out of there. Kid and then got into law enforcement. Not hmm. too smart. And who's the master says her friends probably single too. Yes. Shoot. That part. So here we go. She now half off shorty folks. We're gonna let her cook. But um, I'm simplistic. I'm I'm very simple. So my ideal date, it would definitely be a picnic. A picnic. Okay. Mm -hmm. What was your last relationship? My last official relationship was way back in 2018. So okay. I haven't had okay. anybody claim me as their girlfriend since 2018. Okay. That's a lot. Okay. Oh. <laughs> That's a long time. So now let me ask you this: When was the last time you was intimate with someone? Um, you don't have to. Probably. Oh yeah, I don't. But you know what? It was sometime last year, probably okay. back in this year. Okay. And what's the age range you would date, Tiffany? You're 31. Mm, I don't want to offend anybody, but I don't really want to talk to anybody younger than me anymore. So I would say my age, 31, probably to 40. Okay. But I'm, should I'm be, older. Should he be in Houston? You know what? No, nah, he doesn't have to be. He doesn't have to be in Houston. Um, I don't mind traveling. Look, getting food out. <laughs> <laughs> what are three flaws you have to work on? So recently I noticed that I've been having a little dating anxiety mm -hmm. when because I've been single for a long time. After some time you do start to get a little lonely and sometimes you get insecure and you're like, well, what what's wrong with me? You know, why why nobody wanna commit? So I think one of my flaws would be dating anxiety now. So I can meet someone and have a good conversation with them. And then if I don't hear from them all day, now I'm a little like, uh, did I say something to scare them off? So, um, but I, I realized though that that's me just projecting. It has nothing to do with them and no one is obligated to text me good morning every day. So I realize it, but I, I do know that that's something that I've been kind of struggling with. Okay, that's fair. Is that the three flaws? Mm -hmm. That was just one. Um, another flaw is I tend to kind of overextend myself and like go above and beyond. And I want that in return, but doing self-reflecting, I realized that just because I don't have boundaries that, the, and you know, I, I kind of expect people to do the same with me because I I'm very loyal. So, and I'm loyal to a fault. 
if you're my friend, you can call me, wake me up in the middle of the night, tell me something's going on and I'm coming. Because of my career, I have family and friends, they call on me a lot. And I would always get up, always. And I wanted that in return. I'm like, if I do it for you, but I don't do things and expect to have something done in return. But of course, if you have that type of relationship with someone, then you would like that. So I guess being told no, but I respect the word no from other people, but it's just kind of hard for me to tell people no. So Okay. Is there a last flaw or are we going to stop right there? I talk too much sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> Clearly. Real quick. Real quick. You said you slept with somebody in December and then someone said, Kendra, you're not going to ask about the person in December. Let me tell you guys so you can understand. When a child's under, if you tell me you have kids under the age of five, then I will ask you about why you're not with baby mama, why not with baby daddy. If the child's over five, I don't ask that question. If you had sex with somebody within the last 30 days, then I ask, what's up with that person? Shout out to my guy, Project Leroy. He come through as he do, finished her off. He says, I was waiting. <laughs> he says, have Unc seen her off at the corner. So there you go. It's unfortunate. This sister didn't come up here brutish, being mean, nasty, or ignorant. Nothing of what we get a lot of up here. But man, it's occupation she law enforcement she seems sweet she's saying she always there for her friends but she got that 10 year old man she got that 10 year old and like i said ladies and gentlemen pre please we're going to what y'all think understand how real men think the men that y'all claim y'all won't so daggone bad a man ain't about to be sitting at home when his wife is out there chasing and hunting down crime it ain't gonna last. He gonna he's it don't work. It just don't work that way, man. So there you go. Shout out to my guy Project Leroy. It's unfortunate. I mean, this ain't a bad looking sister. Mm -hmm. Um, you know, get out of law enforcement. You can always find a new career. You can you can find another job or something and not skip a beat. A there you go. I would imagine. There you go. You know, I know a couple of that's in law enforcement together, but they sheriffs. They just like transport people. They don't do all that. You know, they ain't out there in the field where it's real. They just get in their car and they transport people from jail to jail. And they're a married couple. And that's what they do together. You see? So it's like particular circumstances where it could work. But your man at home and you chasing crime, out of there. And she in Houston. So in some of these cities, like you said, these predominantly uh, black cities like Houston, Atlanta, New Orleans, there is a lot of black male cops. So it's it's not that hard to find, you know, one of your colleagues. At least I don't know. Don't know. That's her best bet if you want to yeah, still I, be I a cop. So. Sister. But nonetheless, we're gonna throw the junior band at her. I think that's appropriate. Um, that's most nice. That's a uh, most. Most uh, graceful, man. She was grace. We showing her a little bit of grace because she she thirty one. If she was about thirty five, mm. couple more years, big fan. There, there you go. This could be a great success story. Hopefully, this sister get it figured out, figured all the way out, and go ahead and find her mate. You know, she, it sucks. It sucks. Just understand the weight of having that child. Understand the weight that it holds. There we go. And plus, I see how y'all was simping in the chat, so we're going to show some mercy. Right. Here we go. <laughs> maybe, mm. maybe it's not simping. It ain't simping mm. in the chat. That's that's that sliding scale. That's just, that's the male sliding scale. They say, oh, look, she's, she's so pretty. Oh, she's so cute. And they say, it's okay. You know, she can arrest me. You know, I do five to ten with her. <laughs> <laughs> hey, shout out to Project Leroy. He then skipped her off the screen. He says, can she clear fellas' criminal records as a plus? There you go. Uh -huh. lay, down, lay down the meats properly and the answer is yes. <laughs> uh -huh. Skilly Boy says, 
My B.I. patrols the streets at night and I can't sleep. <laughs> Literally. <laughs> and Divine Photo says, would have been better off staying quiet. Talk too much. Yeah. yeah. Got to let him talk. Get the truth. <laughs> Skinny boy. All right, fellas. Top flight security to uh, secure Tina and, or Tiffany Hinger. <laughs> See? <laughs> yeah, call her Tiffany Hinger. <laughs> Tiff, big Tiff for the well. Wait, Top Flight didn't have no kids, right? Nope. See that? That's that's a shoe win. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> Who's the master? Says doesn't their profession disqualify them off top? Yes, that's that's what I thought. And yeah, listen, only person. Correct me if I'm wrong, chat. I know y'all will. The only man I know that's gonna marry. A cop is a cop. Like, and no, that's not, that ain't true. Like, I've seen instances, but I've seen instances where these women will marry guys that's not a cop, but y'all don't want that man. I promise you, he's softer and he gonna deal with you coming home with dirty boots, kicking them off. He gonna pick up your boots and he gonna run your bath water, <laughs> but he ain't very masculine at all, but he's still a, he's still a man. <laughs> so here we go. I want y'all to keep that energy. We're going to bring this next sister out. We back to $40 skips. She going, we're still on this train of the cops. All right. So where we at? Tell me what you going to do. What you going to do. <laughs> so, <laughs> All right. Here we go. Bring this sister out. Hit the like button, folks. Hit the like button if you're just coming in. Whoa, it's pressure on the screen. That's a cop? <laughs> huh. I'm from Houston. Houston in the building. How old are you? I'm 24. 24? What you do for a living? I'm a police officer. From where? Oh, you're a police officer. Okay, you a sexy police officer. <laughs> I get that sometimes. Sometimes. Okay, let me find it out. Pull me over. Pull me <laughs> over. They be trying to break the law on purpose to get arrested by you, child. I can't. <laughs> oh, 24. You have any children? Yes. A five-year-old son. A five-year-old. Yeah. Why not with the dad? Um, just really young when I met him. I uh, didn't really get to know him how I should have. Um, but I love my baby. I got some a blessing out of it. Okay. Um, have you ever been married? No, never been married. No. What's your zodiac sign? I'm an Aquarius. Aquarius? <laughs> Um, we have a little echo. Can we fix that? Yes. Maybe if I hold the phone, it would help. Let me see. Oops. Okay, here we go. Okay. <laughs> um, Imani Houston, 24 Aquarius, police officer, mom to a five year old. Um, what's all oh, your Aquarius? Let's do it, boo. What kind of man are you looking for? God bearing. I want somebody has, who believes in God. I want someone, or you know, I want somebody with morals, um, an individual, a person who has kind of been through something and is able and and was able to come out of like the struggle that they went through and made something of themselves. Because that's something like that's what I I, I went through. Um, what else? Uh, I like looks. I like somebody who looks good and take care of yourself because I take care of myself. Um, and I want somebody who loves herself because I, I believe if they love themselves, they're going to be able to love me. So, yeah. Okay. What are your deal breakers? Deal breakers. Um, inconsistent. Um, not driven. That sucks. Um, inconsistent, not driven. Um, doesn't take care of himself, um, not in their children's life if they do have kids. Uh, um, not a strong, I don't like somebody who doesn't have like a strong family um, background. Like they're, they, they don't have like a strong family. Like they're not family oriented. I don't really like that. Yeah. Okay. Could he have kids already? Yes. He okay. Um, you could, do you want more kids? I do. I would love more kids. You love more kids. 
Um, mm-hmm. Now you kind of mentioned it. Should he have to look a certain way? Um. Yes, I just want him to be able to take care of himself. I want him to like you know, if you look good, you feel good. You know, I believe that. You know, um, the way that you carry yourself is very important. And if you're walking with me, I feel like you gotta present yourself well because I'm going to. So um, it, I don't want to give like a complete like I don't want to give you exact image of how I I would want my person to be, but just somebody who takes care of himself. So hell, here we go. This sister here ain't bad looking. Uh, mm. Is that her real hair? No, stop that. You stop. Oh, okay. You go. <laughs> I don't know, hell. So, look, outside of that, I guess the presentation ain't bad. She had, you know, another teen pregnancy. I guess 19, you know. Cop. How you have a kid at 19 and you a cop at 24? That's what, see, that's my thing. I'm like, how... That's why I got so confused in the last one. I'm like, how you a baby mom and a cop? I would imagine that your morals wouldn't allow one or the other. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know, but does this just how go to... capacity? That's my thing. Mm. I'm thinking about the time. <laughs> you, a, you know, she 20 in her early 20s with a small child. How you make it to the police academy? And all? Were you so, sleeping with the director at the academy? That's what I'd be thinking. Like, they walked up in there. So, I said this before. Somebody gave him a glaze on the bun and handed him a badge, man. The glaze I done said the... that. Now, we can't act like that don't happen, perhaps. But uh, I, <laughs> I'm i going to say this is the power of the gynocracy. Yeah, there you go. Come on now. Somebody here. Nana got them kids. Listen here. Nana ain't going to take care of the kids if Bone Creature trying to buy, oh, go find a husband or go to, I don't know, charm school. But Bone Creature trying to become a handsome boy? Okay. Yeah. You're going to become a cop, Bone Creature? I'll take care of my grands. And you're going to bring in, be bringing in money? Yeah, go be a handsome boy. But you, what you ain't going to go, what you ain't going to do is go out there and become a wife. But yeah. Shout out to the guy in Ocracy. No, man. You can go be, become a judge, a cop, a sergeant in the military, a human okay. anvil. I don't care. <laughs> okay. Noted. it. And shout out to Who's the Master. Said them things hang low. She probably put socks on them. There you go. <laughs> shout out to Sir Charge. He finally got around to getting that channel membership. Yeah! Boom, Takalaka! There we Sock go. titties. <laughs> yeah, I need to see her do the Kendra cam. And shout out to Divine Photos. Says, how are you raising your standards when your value drops? How do you raise your standards when your value drops? It's like after they have kids, standards be through the roof. Make it make sense. Not only standards, but, you know, the whole God-fearing thing. Like, it's mm-hmm. like they had these kids out of wedlock. You know, they're going to seek some type of atonement. But it's mm-hmm. like they putting that on the man as well. Like, we all going to repent for my mistake. Yes. Like, like, everybody got to repent. Even this <laughs> new man coming in, like, that ain't even his kid. But she like, we all got to repent. No, especially him. Yeah, Bonquisha going, she laying her burden on the new man. What's our new philosophy over here? Standards are for suckers and simps. The the baby daddy want no standards with him. Just straight meet the meat standards. And if and look and get don't get it twisted. The guy she so desires coming to her face, it won't be no standards for him either. Stop the cap. Here we go. Hit the like button, folks. Okay. <laughs> uh, what about money? Should he make a certain amount of money? Um, yes. Uh, so I would like him to be making, uh, above 80,000 to 90,000 a year. Um, but I do feel like I can meet someone and we can grow together. I believe that. Um, there's so many different ways to grow, make money right now, real estate, all, all sorts of stuff. So I don't want to, I don't want to be too specific, but 80,000 to 90,000 starting is great for me. 80,000 to 90,000, and you make that, of course, as a police officer. Yeah, I made it, make it out 80,000. Okay, you're 24. What's the age range you would date? Um, 25 and older. Um, I don't, I don't mind older men, so about, about 24, 25 to um, we can say 39. 39, okay, yeah. All right, let's do the Kendrick Cam. Okay. 
I mean, you have to be able to get the angles. Oh, 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 you got a body on you. Oh, man. Okay, 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 okay. All right. Now, now where are we Holy at? Holy guacamole. <laughs> where are we at here? Hey. She got a, she got a five-year-old. She she built brazen. She built brazen. <laughs> oh. Let's run this back, folks. One time for the people in the back. Okay. Oops. I need to be able to get the angles. I mean, there y'all go. For all the men in the chat, stand up. She a cop? She a cop? Oh, you know what I'm saying? Man. See, come on, come on, man. This your woman. And this is crazy. She look like she got on. She got. <laughs> okay, keep doing this with y'all. Oh my goodness! I don't know what she got on up under that dress. She got on something. I don't know if she got on something to accentuate or to try to compress it, but she got on something up put like some, like some, like some compression shorts. Nevertheless, like I'm trying, this ain't, <laughs> don't no man want his woman looking like this going to be no cop. Come on, man. Come on. It ain't got nothing to do with insecurity. It's ninjas out there and they, man. And I see all y'all in the back. Huh? Got a big old booty, and everybody says she's a fine booty. The booty is where the doo doo is, boy. The booty is where the doo doo is, boy. All right, all right, y'all hear that? Yeah, boom, shakalaka. What is that? What, <laughs> like, real rap? What, what, it, what? <laughs> I'm stuttering. What is man's, especially melanated men? What's our infatuation with a booty? Shout out to Dick Gregory, man. Like, y'all see her talk so much mess about that woman. So she stood up, the whole chat, everybody be like, okay, now everybody, now y'all want to be friendly. <laughs> yeah, they end up like this brother here. Got a big old booty, and everybody says, she's a fine booty. The booty is where the doo-doo is, boy. The booty is where the doo-doo is, boy. All right. <laughs> Y'all yeah, yeah, don't listen. Y'all see that butt? Y'all don't want nothing to do with that woman. Y'all just trying to get back there for the one time and and see that thing verberate. <laughs> That's all. That's it. Y'all y'all ain't got no type of interest in her mindset and how her day went. Y'all just like, come here. <laughs> Y'all just try to grab a hold of her waist and, and ride the wave. That's all y'all trying to do. Y'all trying to make it jiggle when it wiggle. <laughs> That's all. All right. So. Hell. All right. Shout out to MJ. He said the doo-doo is back there. There you go. Appreciate you. Man. Who's the master says, don't do it, fellas. You will be black-pilled. Mm. Possibly. Possibly, possibly. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to Al says I'd I'd litter in front of her. All right, he says write me a ticket with your number on it. God, yeah, that part. Okay. See, see, y'all, y'all insidious. <laughs> mm -hmm. Shout out to Ev Ray says if you don't think the fifth precinct ain't smashing the five, the we say the fifth, fifth precinct. Yep. Okay, the see, free so see, it's it's possible, <laughs> uh, or somebody. I can say the whole force, but yeah. like I said, this these are two women back to back. They both in Houston, Houston, Texas. Y'all know yes. that. Like I said, when you got these cities where they got black cops, these is these brothers, be yes. six three former NFL players and stuff, man. Come Some on. of them, obviously, not, but we talking about the ones that she would sleep with. Yeah, and if that brother on the force, come on, man, stop playing. That brother on the force, like Gav said, some big old joker, and they just he could be cool, whatever. And all that ninja guy just hey, after a hard day's work, maybe they didn't caught a perp, you know, then then confiscated a couple keys. So let's go grab a beer, and it's over from there. <laughs> I promise you, y'all know. Yeah, that's 
a, a man's biggest fault is to think that ain't nobody out there as slick as you, Ninja. Trust, don't play with it. <laughs> uh-huh. Shout out to my guy Q, Law and Order, Single by Choice Edition. <laughs> yeah! Boom, Takalaka! Doom, doom, doom. Can we get that tone? They're going to sue us. <laughs> now, I've heard some people on YouTube. I've heard people use it. Uh-huh. Shout out to Joker Day Nate. Says, doo-doo, boy. He says, sheep. <laughs> doo-doo. Focus, fellas. So, yeah. Ain't no focus. Everybody unfocused. <laughs> Shout out to Mr. Mr. Says, these meat shall not leave my house unclashed. <laughs> okay. Yes. Gonna- yes. You gonna send her out the house all glazed up, huh? Mm-hmm. That ain't gonna stop no other man. I hope it you know it ain't. <laughs> <laughs> a shout out to Richard Media with the five dollars. Says Houston police officer salary is fifty eight thousand six hundred to seventy four thousand. He says senior officers make seventy five eighty. That's why I said these. Uh, she talking uh, about I make eighty to ninety. Yeah, yeah, she did. Yeah. Yeah, tell her she don't. <laughs> she go in there every morning to to her uh, chief and say, "How you doing, chief? <laughs> he need glazed this morning. Uh-huh. She get ninety, okay? And look, <laughs> and like you said, not to count. Let's say she only make like you said fifty eight sixty. She getting child support. All right, mm. our, our baby daddy probably some resourceful guy. That's they count everything. Let's get this understood. So she getting child mm. support, and like the other woman just said, they do a lot of off duty work. So a lot of these women be security at places and stuff. So they make money, you know. Ah, but nonetheless, I don't know. We... I I tell you what, man. That's I hate to see sisters like this, with you know, with such great assets to offer to a man, and they give it all the way to nug nug. And now you out here nug nugged up with a bastard child, and you a cop yammed up and yammed out. Is that that's blasphemy? I want to see. <laughs> these women in good healthy relationships raising babies and and furthering the uh, culture not up here being nug nugs delight all the yams all the good yams to nug nug see that he and the queen we don't like nug 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 get all the yams <laughs> yeah and shout out to skinny boy he says i put my hands up on your hip when i dip you dip we dip oh yeah. my. everybody try to dip <laughs> And I see my guy Theo in the building. I ain't got no time to play. I'm just going to make their goddamn money and keep it moving. You hear me? Just stack, just stack, just stack, just stack, and stack, and stack. You hear me? How you feeling tonight, Theo? On the road to 100K, walking it down slow. All Man. you people in the chat right now, if y'all are not subscribed to the Do Better podcast, uh, somebody dropped the link in the chat. My guy Joker Nate, Nate, somebody make sure y'all head over and subscribe. Theo is less than cu- a couple hundred. We need a couple, yeah. hundred. let's get this done, folks. Hey, I've been checking Theo's subscription count like three times today. I think he gained like 200 subscribers just today. I'm watching, I shall not miss the 100k celebration. I wake up middle of the night, ninja. <laughs> so, there you go. We got 470 people in here. If any of y'all are not subscribed to the Do Better podcast, hit over and subscribe. Man, shout out to my guy Theo. He come through the 50 ball. You are a show sponsor uh, with Joker Nutty Nate. He says, "Get the likes up, people. We missing 200 likes, you heathens." Mister X, Mister Walker, salute. Yeah, boom, takalaka. They do this to us every day, Theo. Just like over there. They, you know, that's how they do it. Sometimes they forget. That's that's what I'm guilty of. I'll be over here at Theo's talking best now, telling people to hit the like button. I didn't hit it, but I always do. So with that being said, man, just hit the like button. <laughs> there y'all go. We appreciate the support, Theo. You know, you got to We got a drop for you. Where we at here? Get them down. Oh, thank you. Yay! Thank you. Yay! Thank ya! Woo! Yay! Thank ya! Woo! Yay! Thank ya! Woo! Yay! Yay. <laughs> I'm telling you, gotta tell my dad. I can go to work happy today. You hear me? I can go to work happy today. Nah. 
<laughs> Shout out to Dom. Oh, man. man. Listen, Theo, this is to hear. Somebody said something. Wow, we're just silence of the yams. That was one of the best names I heard so far this year. <laughs> silence of the yams. I like yeah. it. Yeah, I love it. <laughs> That yeah, I need that's that is a award winning shirt. Silence of the yams, that's beautiful. So here we go. This sister, she yammed up before she did the Kendra cam. Y'all was on her top, saying you know how she, her hair, this and that. She the she she the dark skin friend that looked like Michael Jackson. Y'all had jokes uh. for days. <laughs> But soon she stood up. Now y'all all applauding. Some of y'all putting y'all textbook in front of y'all pants because y'all inappropriate. Yeah. Now what? The sliding scale. The male sliding scale is a thing. Granted, this is research. So there we go. We also got a cash app from Demarcus. He back. He says female cops are promoted for the glaze. For the glazing. Okay, so they get promoted fast for all that glaze. Okay. And and here's the thing, not saying not saying the sister moving wrong or anybody, not saying she's getting glazed, we assuming. However, when you're in these manly positions, you're gonna act like a man and behave like a man. So I, I would imagine a sister like this, boy, ain't nothing wrong. I'm yeah, let's glaze it up. She she got that boyish mentality, and the man will mind glazing his way to the top. So neither would a manish woman. Yeah, because like he said, all their jobs is at stake. Ain't nobody going to talk. So, I mean, Come among on. each other, maybe. Maybe a couple people might know, but. There you go. Yeah, oh, see, deal. my point, like, I'm t imagine telling the guy, but hey, dude, if you want to become a top-ranking official in this field here, you got to hunch all the females up to the top. He's going to be like, give me hold my beer. <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> and also, shout out to Gone Postal. Come through with the $5 cash app. Says salute. And D Rex says, please send me all main, please. Oh my <laughs> there you go. And shout out to Frederick Howard says, let's see the yammy tammy or vibrating Virginia. <laughs> yammy tammy. <laughs> <laughs> so here we go. I'm gonna let her cook. We're gonna get back into it. Here we go. Shout out to D Rex says, hit the all man for me. Oh my there you go. Huh? Oh my! <laughs> Here we go, folks. Let me get, 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 get the angles. Oh, 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 you got a body on you. What kind of police <laughs> officer? Um, what kind? What? what you, are you the police officer? You be in a police uniform with all that body? <laughs> yeah, I do. Yeah, I know men be hitting on you all the time. They do. They do. I don't take them serious, though. They always got the um, Lil Wayne jokes, all that. Like, Woo! you know. Exactly. I've been getting a lot of police officers. What happened, Imani? Imani? Oops. What happened? Okay, you back? Uh, Hello, okay, Imani? there we go. You ready? Yeah, we're fine. I'm not able okay, to hear you. I, I I ain't never seen a, a police officer that got a body like that, child. Ugh, I'm not able to hear you. I, you Sorry can't hear that. me? Yeah, not at all. Anybody? I can see your mouth moving so I can hear you. Okay. I can hear you. Aw. Ooh. Ooh, child. I don't know what happened, child. We got to see. I'll try to go back. I want all right, so let's see. Uh oh I don't know if she came back up, but yeah. There we go. She came back. And... Let me catch this time stamp. I didn't realize that happened. Here we go. Hit the like button, folks. <laughs> I would say listening. Listening. I'm going to take it back another second. What you got? Yeah, it's do me all. Here we go. Um, there's so many different ways to grow, make money right now. Real estate, all all sorts of stuff. So, I don't want to. I don't want to be too specific, but eighty thousand and ninety thousand starting is great for me. Eighty thousand. Okay. Yeah. All right. Let's do the Kendra can. Okay. Oops. Might as well do it again. Let me get, 
Might as well. Might as well. It won't hurt. <laughs> oh, ooh, ooh, you got a body on you. What kind of police officer? Uh, okay. I, you can't. <laughs> okay. All right. When was your last relationship? Um, last year around April. Last year around April. Okay. You don't have to answer, but I'm gonna ask. When's the last time you was intimate with someone? The last time I was intimate was about six months ago. Six months ago. Okay. Um, what are three flaws you have to work on? Three flaws. Um, um, being patient. Um, being patient. Uh, not always assuming things. Kind of just really trying to understand another person's perspective before I assume things. That's another one. And... Um, Another one, another one, another one. I would say another flaw that I have, ooh, is, li uh, I'm trying to think. I'll throw this out there. I would say listening, listening. I, I, I yeah, I'm, I'm, yeah, like I said, I assume, but that kind of goes into everything else that I just said, but yeah, listening. Okay, uh, someone said, Imani, would you date another police officer? No. 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 Why not? Um, they meet too many women, I believe. They meet too many women. They meet too many people. And um, from my experience, that's what I've seen. And um, they some, sometimes don't know what to do with that attention. They kind of like, I believe, in, in my experience with working with the men that I work with, um, there's some good men out there, but I, I don't think I would date um, a fellow police officer. You want to date a fellow police officer? Okay, good question. All right. Oh, you gave me your three flaws, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, why would a guy be lucky to be with you? A guy would be lucky to be with me because I'm very loving. Um, I'm warm. Um, I'm driven. I'm motivating. I'm able to, I'm somebody I'm, I believe that um, a person could grow with. Um, I have a lot of life ahead of me and I feel like I've accomplished a lot so far and I believe that um, whoever I, I, I am able to uh, develop a relationship with would appreciate these things because I've already done it on my, on my own pretty much. Okay. I think yeah. I asked, but I can't remember. Do you want to have more children? I would love to, yes. You would love to. All right, Imani with the body. Um, <laughs> <laughs> she's a police officer in Houston. Should the guy be in Houston? Uh, no, that's fine. He doesn't have to be in Houston. Okay. This is the woman. The woman left this comment, Candace Jackson. She said, people must forget. She spent $10 to say this. People must forget what natural breasts look like. She is gorgeous. I hope she finds love. <laughs> These comments are very disrespectful. Oh, I guess they were talking about your, 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 well, your body is hard to miss. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. It's okay. I don't listen. I ignore it. I feel good. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you have a body. Listen, um, how can the guy reach out to you, honey? Um, my Instagram is Money Tarzana, um, and my Facebook is Imani Douglas. Imani Douglas, and 25 yes. and older, make at least 80 to 90K, and she has a five-year-old. All right, boo, you keep me posted how it goes. How can I reach out to you again? Give it to her one more time. My Instagram, again, is Money Tarzana on Instagram, and my Facebook is Imani Douglas. Imani Douglas. All right, boy, you keep me posted how it goes, babe. All right, thank you so much. Bye -bye. So I want to say her Instagram is private, unfortunately. Hmm. Uh, but, you know, the game didn't came see with Kim Kim, so. Yeah, we didn't, see, we didn't see. No, y'all horn dogs need to see. Y'all just trying to see them cheeks bare, boom. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, y'all couldn't. Y'all didn't get enough of them uh, yams in the sundress. Y'all need y'all trying to see bare bones, <laughs> bare bones buns. <laughs> <laughs> yes, they is, man. I tell you what, they Trey seen it. She got something on up under there. Ain't nitpicking, you know, it is what it is. Half y'all ninjas trying to eat groceries, but it's still a little bit of hoodoo in play. That's what I'm saying. She got something. Here we go. Look what she got on. I ain't, I ain't, I ain't look. It's a crease right up under her cheek. And then it's like she got this thick band, like she accentuating them yams, something like them, like she holding them yams up 
with some elastic. Something's up. Something's up. But nevertheless, like I said, I know y'all still hungry for groceries, but it is what it is. So, yeah, this woman here, 24, one kid, you know, officer in Houston, looking like uh, Glaze Galaxy. She got a she got a baby daddy. Her kid five years old. Listen here, let's get, look. When you built like this, your baby daddy always open to come clap your cheeks. You know what I'm saying? Especially if ain't no marriage minded high value man. This just nug nug. At any given time, any given time, man. Every time that brother come through, he trying to clap them cheeks to see his kid or whatever the whatever the arrangement is. Just know that. And with that being said, you don't cross the gun line. We got us the gun line. Tell them about the gun line, boss. We may not know which way to go. Oh, no, I see this shit is going to be dangerous. Some dark winged duck shit. Let's get dangerous. I play the fool for the fool. Everybody plays the fool sometimes. And no exception to the rule. Listen, baby. You hear me? I played you fool for a fool. Mm. Over, sister. <laughs> Tony say, Mr. Walker can read her caller ID through the pocket. Ain't you married? Yeah, I'm married. I ain't blind. <laughs> See, uh-huh, here's a, <laughs> here's, this is f- funny to me. Listen here. I don't understand how you ninjas be moving. When, listen, me and my lady out and somebody walk around with a BBL or a big butt, she be like, hey, you really cuz you see this? <laughs> yeah, this ain't listen here. Y'all better stop being afraid of being mans. Just be there respectful. But be a dang on man. Yeah, it's yams. It's a big old booty. <laughs> that part. All uh, right. And divine photos. He says co-parenting means clashing cheeks. Yeah. Mm, most likely. In the hood, it do for sure. That part. So we're going to get back into it. Um, we got another wild one coming up. So shout out to my guy, Theo Coop. Theo says, perfect timing. We're currently looking for new recruits for the Do Better Police Department. Yams Division. Commander Coop signing out. Commander Coop, all she want to know is what's her daily duties? Huh? <laughs> what do you require from her on a daily ba- basis in the specialized yams division? I want to know too. <laughs> there you go. Yeah, we need more details here. Yeah. All right. So shout out to my guy Theo Coop, who is one of the show sponsors right now. We appreciate the support, brother. We're gonna bring out another wild one. We back at forty dollars. We we leave it at forty. Here we go. <laughs> Hit the like button. We got yep. uh Maria Maria. Marie? Yes. Marie Atlanta, how old are you? 34. 34. What do you do for a living? I'm a project manager for a healthcare company. Project manager. Do you have any children? I have one. One child. How old is your one child? 18 years old. 18 years old. Have you ever been married? Yes, one time. Are you, when did you get divorced? Like 2018. Officially divorced? Officially, yes. It's been over five years, like five years, six years. Okay. And what's your zodiac sign? I'm a Pisces, just turned 34. Okay. So we got Marie Atlanta, 34 Pisces, project manager for a healthcare company. One child that's 18, and you said he was married before, correct? Yes. Was you married to your child's father? No. Somebody else. Okay. But she's officially divorced. All right, boo. Um, what kind of man are you looking for, girl? So I am looking for a leader, a king. I want somebody who's into, and I know my accent is a little tough. So I'm going to say into mono, how you say mono and not polygamy. I want someone oh, who's monogamous. like. monogamous. You want a man that's monogamous. Yes, I'm sorry. You know, my accent is, I'm Puerto Rican, so my accent could be a little tough, especially when I get nervous because I'm a little nervous. 
But yeah, I want somebody who's still like old school, still have like Oracle values and still believe in that, you know, that forever, like that one on one, not into like that poly, you know, multiple girlfriends, multiple wives. No, I just want that one on one old school love. So, okay. Of course, faithful, respectful, not into the streets because we, you know, I live in Atlanta. So there's a lot of like guys and older guys at that that is into like, you know, the club scene and into that street stuff. No, I just want someone who's like tired of the games and is ready to like have that real thing and, you know, tired of the games, like ready to settle. So, okay. I want you to get cut off. So, real quick. So, okay. The, well, you, you, you can come close. I just don't want your head to be cut off. All right. So, hey, can you move the camera over a little bit towards you? Just, okay. There we go. Perfect. All right. You're perfect. All right. So, Marie, is English your second language? Yes, it is. I am fluent in Spanish. I was born in, um, and raised in Puerto Rico. Um, and I've been in Atlanta for like the last 12 years. Okay. Um, now, what are your deal breakers? Um, someone who's into clubs or someone who's into like the streets, like always want to be out and about, someone who has like multiple baby moms, someone who's like into like tatted and things like that. That's oh, and a smoker, like anyone that smokes like weed or cigarettes, that's definitely a deal breaker for me. Um, someone that doesn't know what they want or emo emotionally like unavailable, that's like a deal breaker for me. Okay. Could he have kids already? <sighs> yes. <laughs> but to be honest, uh, like older kids or no kids, to be honest, not like, nothing like no young kids. Because I have like an 18 year old. She's about to be 19. So like, I don't have no type of, technically I move as I want. So like, I wouldn't want no one with small kids. So, Okay, so listen, what I took from that, you trying to say, because you got to hear yourself, Maria, Maria, you saying this man got to pay for your mistake because you got pregnant at 15 and you said, well, my kids is grown now. So I got pregnant at 15. So you can't have no small kids. You should have had your kids at 15 too. Hell. Golly, Maria caught that young boy. That's tough, man. That's really tough. And it's very unfortunate. And it ain't cool. You know, regardless of the context, if they both were the same age, it's a, it's unfortunate. These babies having babies. But here we are. 34, 18. She was married, but she is attractive enough to land a husband that wasn't the father of her child. And still divorced them. <laughs> Here we go, ladies. Just some little help moving in this uh, dating market, today's modern dating market. If you got a kid, I don't care how cute, sexy you think you might be, like Maria here, and you manage to get married after a, a bastard child, don't leave ever under no circumstance. Present the, him with your best self. Keep him occupied and happy and stay out his phone. <laughs> and, and that bees about it because it's over for Maria and all her little cuteness. <laughs> Man, here we go. Hit the like button, folks. So nothing more, probably no one, no more than one baby mom, preferably no more than two kids. Okay. Now, just out of curiosity, do you have an ethnicity preference in um, your man? To be honest, no. Um, mostly they black. Um, I don't date Spanish because they're just so like uh, I blame the Spanish moms and I and I'm please forgive me, Spanish mom, but they just baby them. I just like a man who's like the independent and like uh, I, it's just hard. Like Span I prefer not a Spanish man, but I prefer like a black man, but I'm open to all races, so I'm not like stuck in one race. But I just want to know. I'm assuming you consider Puerto Rican Spanish, correct? Yes. Okay, now do you have a son or a daughter? I have a daughter. A daughter. Well, you said no offense to Spanish moms. You're a Spanish mom. Yes. Yeah, so what I mean by that is just Spanish moms be babying son, like the Spanish son. Like, let's, well, not Spanish son, like their son. Like, for example, my mom, 
she babe i'm the oldest out of seven and she have i have three brothers she just baby them like to a point like they don't think being a provider um being the men of the house like okay go ahead woman go work go do this go do that so they're not independent they like baby them to a point where all spanish men things like oh you don't have to work i i I can stay home and you go work. You go pay the bills. I stay home with the kids. I don't want that. Like, and it's so it's hard with a Spanish man. Like, the Spanish moms be babying them so. Ah, it's just okay. City boy, city boy. Good data. So for all this time, y'all put all this on black men. It appears many men. All right, all men suffer you from you know this generational. So when these women come up here, oh, y'all black men lazy, y'all this, y'all that. Oh, the contrary. Mm -hmm. No. Yeah, this sister here is so bad. She giving the tail of the tape. She And she, she tired of these Hispanic uh, mama boys. And shout out to all the, all the brothers out there. We still on top. I don't care what nobody say. Listen here. I don't care what color they come up here. Caucasian. Hispanic, chocolate, caramel. They want them a melanated brother. And hey, sisters, I ain't heard. <laughs> it ain't the same note for y'all. And we talk about this, poking fun at the dating market. Because when we're like, oh, we can divest. We going to date out. <laughs> y'all making that ish up. <laughs> Here we go. We're going to get in two. I see my guy Tony in the chat. He said it's Taco Tuesdays. Yeah. Boom, taco <laughs> And Will been the channel member for two months. Says Kendra Cam about to be brazy. Okay. Probably. <laughs> Izzy DeVoe come through with the five dollars. Says, what do they call a sweet 16 birthday party in the land community? A baby shower. Oh, God, hey. oh. oh. hey, the stereotypes be true. It's tough. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to Divine Photos with the five dollars. He says. This is self-hating vibes. Why would she say that on a dating show and salty her own people, even if it's true, it's something you don't disclose. I agree. Okay. Fair. Yeah, we had the black, we had the one sister up here talking about black men. So yeah. Ah, uh, there you so, go. Yeah. Here we go. Hit the like button, folks. Stand up, sister. That's it's all they want. They're not goal oriented. It's just go. it's what? tough. <laughs> Okay. Was your child's father? Is, is, is your child's father Spanish or black? Yes, he's Spanish. To be honest, I was 15 years old. Okay. Um, so yes, he is Spanish. And it was the same, it was the same. Like he he thought it was okay for me to go work and I mean for me to go work while he stayed home and be in a a, a cleaning and cooking while I go work and it, it was okay. He wasn't a leader, he wasn't a provider. And that's not what I want for me. Like, that's just not acceptable. So that's why I don't prefer a Spanish man. I haven't dated a Spanish man for like the past 10 plus years. Okay. Okay. All right. So black men are your preference. Preference. But like I said, I'm open to all races as long as they're seasoned and they have that mentality of a go-getter, business-minded, and just want to go forward and not thinking that the woman's supposed to be home providing for them while they just sit and have no goals or jobs or no money so yeah okay now should he look a certain way you know what i'm not no uh, I, he has to be handsome i do i don't like a skinny bony man i like a man that i could grab on I preferably some muscles or something that i could grab on but as long as he's not skinny bony i actually don't mind just no just um, something I could grab on. I could feel safe. Okay. And guys, I've ate like five eight and up is okay for me. And I'm fine. Okay. Five. All right. Somebody, Kay, Kay spent $5 to ask you this question. Can she cook pasty, pastios? I don't know how to pronounce it. Pastios? Pastels? <laughs> is that canned corn with the olives? Yeah, I could cook. I am. Uh, I'm an old school bitch. So yeah, I could cook. I clean. I could cook. That, what she means or he means pasteles. I'm Puerto Rican, so yeah, it's like, you know, I, I 
my family were big on being a wife and cooking since like what 12 so yes and i'm the oldest out of seven so yeah i could cook and do a little bit of everything so okay um what about money should he make a certain amount of money <sighs> kendra that's tough <laughs> let me tell you what's tough i have dated both right i have dated the six figures which of course they have commitment issues and they have like, oh, they want to have two, three girlfriends, right? And they want it their way and no way. And I have dated someone who makes, I don't know, let's say 50, 60. And they're like always keeping track of my money because I love to travel, right? I, I go to a different country like every month um, or sometimes two, three times a month. So they're like, oh, you big what? money. Oh, you like to travel. Oh, look what? at the car you drive. Oh, look at how... You have a house cleaner or the way your house look and it's like they're always keeping track so it's to be honest is it's tough i just want somebody who's come oh marie yeah i'm here sorry my phone went off somebody who's okay. comfortable that can just get up and go if anything let's say but i don't want to say you know i just want somebody who's loyal honest who's gonna treat me right and things like that. I don't wanna put a money amount because I have dated both and both has been an issue. So I'm at this point where I just wanna be happy and want somebody who wants to stay loving, caring like me and just wanna like get up and go. So it's hard well, no to- No money put... requirement. I, like I said, he needs to be comfortable just like I am. Um, so I don't want to say six figures. I don't want to say under because I said I have dated both and both has been an issue. I just want somebody who's comfortably like me and can be ready to go at any time. If we want to travel, do a certain thing, who's comfortably in his lifestyle, but who's financially okay. stable and, you know, ready to. So a man that makes 50K, you would date a man that makes 50K? If he's willing to work, if he's willing to work and go forward and have goals and want to improve and not stay stuck, yes. As long as he's not keeping track of my money to every time, like, oh, you're buying this, you're buying that, or oh, you're traveling every month, or you're traveling this. As long as he's not keeping track of my money, he's comfortable and secure. I'm trying, uh -oh. I'm trying my hardest to get all the context. She's just talking in circles, Mac. You talking about you leave out the country one, two times a month. Yeah. She, yeah. she spent her passport stamp. Probably, she said sometimes twice, three times a month. You got to be able did. to keep up with that. What, what 50K, 100K, no. 200K, no. 500K. Hey, I feel her. She said my kid just turned 18. You know what? She got a daughter, 18-year-old daughter, and when she answered it, she got a little sour. So it could be a chance that, you know, y'all know how y'all mama and daughters, y'all be few in. Y'all be few in, like the, uh, what's that old West Virginia few in families? The McCoys and Hatfields. <laughs> That's how y'all mama and daughters be few. So most likely the daughter gone, gone. She on her way, out living her best life. So Mama Sita, like, I'm single with no kids. I'm traveling. Y'all ain't about to tell her she had this kid at around 15 years old. You ain't about to tell her she that's th this is where the trauma and that damage from that starts to surface. She's like, I'm traveling three, sometimes <laughs> three times a month. That's dang near once so that's dang near once a week. Like, that's wow. Where you going? Talking about different countries. She didn't say staycations. She ain't like, oh, I'm just going to go, you know, to a little local beach. She said, I'm out the country, passport stamped. Huh? No spirit, no frontier, straight Delta work, the private suite. What are you talking about? <laughs> I don't know where she's getting all this bread from, but I got some ideas. <laughs> there you go. Yeah, it seems like she's probably a content creator. All right. <laughs> Shout out to my guy, G Honda. Says, spicy burrito waiting to happen. Hit her up, G Honda. Uh, that's her IG on the screen. We're going to take a look at it. Mm -hmm. She's going to do the Kendra cam. Y'all know that. Mm -hmm. All right. And right now. She living the life just like a movie star. Yeah. <laughs> Maria. <laughs> yes. I'll be okay. okay. So I got a couple of paid questions for you. Uh, one guy, he sent $100 to ask you this question. Can she make coquito? 
<laughs> yes, I can, of course. That's not a Puerto Rican drink. That's like a seasonal Christmas Puerto Rican drink, of course. <laughs> Okay, I think these men are liking you, but they want to make sure that, that you can cook for them first or make certain things. <laughs> Darnell Jones told me to ask this. Darnell Jones says, so do you believe in helping contribute to the smaller bills if he asked you to do that? This is 2024. Stuff is real expensive. You are pretty, though. Yeah, of course. Absolutely. I, I don't want my men to be 100%. Of course, like I would definitely I make decent money. I have a nice career where I can move on my own so yes of course like that's not an issue with me i don't want somebody who's gonna have my back like i'm gonna have their back treat me like a queen like i'm gonna treat them like the king like it's all about us and not you know one-sided or you know yeah i'm all about that like i'm old school in a way i was raised that way and i still have those ways so okay well the men the, the men like you adam just sent some money to say the most attractive woman on the show thus far. The men like you, girl. I right, let's do the Kendra Cam. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> let's see. Ooh, you got a, ooh, she got a body. Woo! All right, so. Body, body. All right, fellas, they built just how y'all like tonight, huh? What we got? Oh, man. I tell you what, I understand what Gav was saying a, year, a couple years ago. Gavin told me about the perils of Instagram. And it's true, you, you become numb. Like, I, who cares? She got, I mean, I don't know how y'all single folks think, but I don't, I don't see no peace. I ain't sensing no cooperation. She talking about she cook. Yeah, whatever. Maybe part of her culture that she can cook and make spicy drinks. Who gives a crap? <laughs> Somebody paid $100 to ask her, ask her if she can make a seasonal drink. You know what I'm saying? What is that? Is that flexing or, or simping? I'm going to call it simping. <laughs> yeah. Uh, who cares? <laughs> uh. <laughs> there you go. Just want another one of these IG sisters. And... We done said this time and time again, but it's unfortunate, you know. Yeah, they ruined it. The Instagram models and 304s, like, yeah. And here's the thing. This is a thing come up here. It's whenever she, for a second, spoke about her daughter and the way her face, I don't know if y'all caught that, but it's something there and it's, it's wicked. I mean, obviously, the you know how the baby came to be. Just it's wild. So I don't know. Good luck. She this here. She is a a spicy, handsome boy. That's what she is. She out here getting a bag. At least she putting on like she is. Her dude better be making hundred k because she either making a hundred k or she got simp beta sponsors out here like a mamma jamma. <laughs> and shout out to Y Skinner Man Cave. Said this is a career woman that wants it all. Yeah, yes. Shout out to Q, what it do? Come through the twenty dollars. Says traveling, driving that AMG, living a life beyond her means. Is that a full moon I see in the horizon, or is that the nug nug bat signal? Nug nug bat symbol for shiggity. He coming. Oh man, shout out to Q what it do. <laughs> this is rough. Shout out to who's the master. He says, A, I need all her info. Y'all think she'll go for 2,800 years? 20, uh, 28,000 a year. <laughs> okay, 28K a year. Oh, hell to the no. You better come in there looking tall like Xerxes. <laughs> yeah, you can take her on one good trip and then she's going to kick you to the curb. Yeah. Spend all your money. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Shout out to Classy Perspective with the uh five dollar super chat. Says she on point, but there's something about her that isn't bringing that isn't being, bringing revealed. That's hitting. So something's not being revealed. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, she chameleon for sure. For yes, sure. there it is. That's what I was trying to hear. Like something is off. Yeah, she coming off feminine. You know, like I said, glory to her culture. It's like, yeah, I could cook. I've been cooking since this. I've been doing that since that. And that's fine. 
Nevertheless, a uh, Hispanic Puerto Rican bone quisha. Uh, we can see you. Man, and like we say, every other city we go, every other place, it's all the best, no matter where I go. It's the traveling. Like, if she didn't come up here talking so grandiose, talking about traveling that sometimes going out the country three times a month, it'd be a little different. But it's like, sister, calm down. If you're really doing that at this age, be willing to, like the one dude in the chat jumped in, be willing to help with some tickets. You ain't you ain't young and tender no more. Here we go. Ooh, she got a, ooh, she got a body. <laughs> so Marie, do you want more kids? So if my husband is open, I'll give him whatever kids, however kids he wants. If he doesn't want none, I I'm okay with that. If he does want some, I, I'm like open either way. But yes, I'm open. You're open to it, okay? Um, when was your last relationship? Um, it's been like two years and a half. Two years and a half. You don't have to answer, but I'm gonna ask. When's the last time you was intimate with someone? Uh, it's been a couple months. Okay. Three flaws you have to work yeah. on when it comes to a relationship. Um, time management is like, oh, I'm bad at that. So if you want to take me on a date, make sure you take me like 15, 30 minutes <laughs> a difference. Um, I want to say I'm indecisive a bit. So I need a man who's going to be that leader and like take the charge with it. Um, Because I could be, you know, I'm a Pisces, so we're indecisive a bit. Um, and I could definitely say I could probably work better on my delivery. Probably like, I feel like sometimes it's my English, you know, people take it the wrong way, but it's just, maybe it's my language. So maybe I just got to learn some proper English, of course, <laughs> but people won't take my delivery the wrong way. So I guess my delivery sometimes. Okay. So let me ask you this. Um, this is, again, these men like you, child, they're at, they're sending money to ask questions. Sax on the beat. Sax on the beat says, "How do you manage to go to different to a different country every month? Do you work remotely?" Yes, I've been working remotely for like eight years, so that's why I kind of travel a little bit to try like change sceneries and the vibes and not be home all the time. So that's why, yeah, for the eight years I work hundred percent remote. Okay, Baptist seven hundred two said. Are you open to being a sugar mama for a younger man? Absolutely not. <laughs> <laughs> no, nope, you don't got a chance. You don't got a chance. Okay. Um, did I ask you? He did. You told me your three flaws too, right? Yes. Okay. Why would a guy be lucky to be with you, Marie? Because I'm caring. I'm nurturing. I'm loving. I still have the old school values. Um, I'm gonna treat my man like the king he is. Um, I am a caterer and I'm just, he never gonna be hungry. And of course I got the beauty, I got the brains and I got the booty. So he never, got, he got <laughs> no. <laughs> she so. got a cook, she got the beauty, she got the brains and she got the booty. All right, let's do it. I mean, the men like you, you definitely look good girls. So let's do it. We got Marie Atlanta. Oh, should the guy be in Atlanta? Um, no, 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 as long okay. as he, he, he knows how to keep it going and keeping that long distance going and things like that, I'm okay. So no, he don't, he needs to be here. What are, um, what is the age range you would say? You're 34. So a mature 35, I maybe say like a grown, good looking, I'll go to 50 maybe. We go up to 50 and I can't remember, can he have kids? Yes, but I prefer not no kids. Oh, that's right. You want older kids because your child's um, 18. Yes, but to be honest, no young kids. And to be honest, I prefer men with no kids because my daughter is grown in college. So, like, I told y'all. Okay. I told you. Man. Yeah. Boom, Takalaka. Here's you. something we didn't touch on. She got a 19 year old daughter in college. What's to say the apple didn't fall far from the tree? And the reason why a man can't date her, like you said, you dating this woman, her daughter at college, y'all hanging out, her daughter come home from college, and she the younger version of her. Trouble. And here, see, y'all need to understand something. That is not a technical foul. 
Yeah, she some dude in there, Mr. Guy she like in there, they chilling. Then her 19 year old daughter come up from college. Bill absolutely brazen. Bill like mama. She got she got it from her mama. And now this guy who just he like, I'm looking at you, looking at 34, 35 year old you, looking at 19 year old you. I ain't got no obligations to nothing in this house. <laughs> Y'all know this, and it's it's done. Now the mom gonna be the, mad at the daughter. <laughs> I was gonna say because the man we described it. If you, you see, what I'm saying you with your high standards. If you can get this man you describing, come on now. Y'all know how this go. Y'all uh, better stop mm. playing with it. Stop playing with it. <laughs> yeah, it ain't a good. It ain't a, she, the daughter need to stay at college if this mom was gonna have a shot. <laughs> Man, and shout out to Classy Perspective. All right, we got that one. Got that he one. come back. He said, he says, with the ten dollars, we appreciate you, brother. I honestly believe, even we say, Classy <laughs> even... got that, that iPhone be on you, brother. <laughs> he says, I, I honestly believe sense will do it all from a traditional standpoint. But usually these females have a crazy position. Sleep with one eye open. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Something is off about her. When she mentioned her daughter and that chameleon uh, mask peeled off a little bit, I said, ah, there's the crazy. Be careful. There you go. And Divine Photos says, how she working remotely for eight years? The pandemic was in 2021. She lying most death. Well, kind of like we did on with the one sister. Whoever in charge, probably glazed buns, and she was fortunate enough to get a sweet deal. These women, get, they get the sweetest deals because of these yeah. simps. Amen. Yes, that part, she can talk, finesse, and feminine her way into a position that she won't. And this would be one of those instances where all she got to do is, you know, have a donut or something maybe once a week. I don't know with, with, the, with her higher up. Weird things a lot of simp and beta behavior yeah because a lot of times the the largest beta male orbiter in most of these cases is somebody's boss their supervisor their employer yep those are the orbiters the guy that will put her in a position she don't deserve just so she can look at him a certain way and he hope to glaze them cheeks one day there you go he got authority he got no gravitas he got no game no swag no juice but he got the authority and she and these women like her know she like you so soft that I know all I gotta do is brush you on your shoulder and 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 look at you <laughs> for over five seconds and you gonna give me whatever I want you gonna give me the parking spot I want you gonna give me the hours I want they know they can smell the simp and beta desperation these women they dangerous with them guys <laughs> man so. Shout out to Divine Photos Come Back. We appreciate you. Says she for sure been fooling Passport Bros. Huh. Think so. And we got a cash out from Yo Hancho. Says she's single because she's picky, I guess. I don't know about... Uh, we don't know. Like, don't know why she's single. She's in she... Atlanta. We didn't even touch her. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. I'm tripping. Yeah. <laughs> Uh -huh. I, there you go that listen that may right there may be the number one reason why she's single because she in atl and she does not fit the description for for a top candidate the competition is way too fierce she needs to move somewhere where it's a whole bunch of cornfields and she can have whatever she wants. <laughs> so i'm gonna make sure that was it let's do it we got marie alanta 34 pisces project manager Healthcare, one child that is 18, open to having more kids for her husband. How could the guy reach out to you, boo? So here we go. We're going to go check this Instagram out. That was it. All right. I see y'all been dropping it. Mm -hmm. We'll take a look. I see y'all say it's scrubs, only a few pictures, but we'll take a quick look. Now, here's the thing. She said that she's open to having kids and she's open to not having kids. To me, that is an extreme red flag. Like, how can, as a woman, as a wife, as a mother, how are, can you be impartial? You either like, I really want more kids or I don't, I would imagine. But people are like, yeah, I, I don't either. I don't have none and I don't care. Or I'll have some more and that's cool too. That's, that's weird to me. 
So this is her here. Y'all That's see a BBL. Them, yeah. That's a freaking BBL. It, it is is looking mutated. Yeah, you get you get zero points for manufactured meats. We don't <laughs> like pro process and manufactured meats over here. No, no, no. So that's her. The meat uh, fell where y'all like it. And like you said, the guy, she in Atlanta. She always going to find some beta, some simps. And she going to look. She still got her beauty for what it's worth. She can. She ain't hit the wall yet. I'll say that. As far as as far as marriage, she did. But as far as trying to sleep with a guy that makes six figures, she can still sleep with a six-figure guy. Of course. Yeah, she can sleep with any figure guy at the if the moment is right. Yeah. yeah. So <laughs> shoot. So, so yeah. Ain't, well, ain't yeah, no, she ain't, I'm saying that she ain't fully hit the wall. By the time she about ah. her 50s, yeah, that ain't gonna be the case. Women like her, you know, they get that extended grace period. You know, most there women be over by 40. Women like her, she go clear till she's 50 riding the carousel. And then all of a sudden, it'll just be like, poof. Ooh, there it is. So they ain't so much worried about, she's up here talking about marriage, but that's cap. So there you go. So she like, you know what? This, this Winnie Carousel ain't going nowhere. So she like, my wall, my wall experience has been postponed. But whenever she uh, get invited to some yacht party with one of her girlfriends and she go to get on the yacht and the dude be like, you know what? Your friend, she... She a little long in the tooth now. Ooh, she go, <laughs> she go stumble on home, get drunk, and uh, grab that battery operated boyfriend and go brazy on that thing. <laughs> yeah, I get it. That's fair. So these, so these little spicy baddies, they get that extended little grace period via the uh, high value baloney pony carousel, I guess. <laughs> So here we go. This sister here, she crossed the gun line, folks. Huh. We got us the gun line. Tell them about the gun line, boss. We may not know which way to go. Oh, no, I see this shit is going to be dangerous. Some dark winged duck shit. Let's get dangerous. I play the fool for the fool. Everybody plays a fool sometimes, and no exception to the rule. Listen, baby, you hear me? I played the fool for a fool. <laughs> Rainbow Kid says she good. We hating. If if she was so good, she would not have to grace the Kendra show. And on top of that, she wouldn't find herself on single by choices if she was so good. See what I'm saying? <laughs> just, just true. So here we go. Shout out to Skinny Boy. He says, "All right, fellas, under a breast or Mariah Carey?" <laughs> just straight <laughs> Mariah Carey. <laughs> All right, here we go. We're gonna bring his next sister out. We on the back end. Um. Where we at? We're going to end with a bang. Oh, is that Maria Carey? <laughs> Mariah Carey, Maria Carey. <laughs> okay, Maria Carey. I am guess I don't know. They spell the same, ain't they? <laughs> so here we go. Hit the like button. We're going to do a quick half off shoddy before we get to the back end. Here we go. Sabina. Uh -huh. Sabina. So we got Savina, 36 Pisces, California, sales planning analyst, mom of two girls, by two men, never married. What kind of man are you looking for, girl? I'm looking for um, a caring man, um, someone who has goals in life, uh, someone um, that can accept me and my kids because I'm a package. And yeah, su successful man, I can say. Okay. Successful man. Okay. Uh, what's the deal breaker? Uh, narcissist. You mentioned that earlier. Um, a liar, a cheater, um, someone who's disrespectful, um, a man that has mommy issues that haven't healed yet. Um, yeah. Okay, back up a little bit because your husband being cut off. Um, 
Only because you said successful. I'm going to ask you this way. Your head's still cut off, honey. Should the guy make a certain amount of money? Um, As long as he can take care of himself. He doesn't have to be rich or anything. I mean, he can be, but... um. Yeah, as long as he can take care of himself and as long as he has his own house, his own car. Uh, and if he has kids, as long as he take care of his kids. Okay. What about, should he look a certain way? As long as he's attractive to me. Attractive to you? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Let's do that, Kendra Kim. Okay, we gotta see your legs. Oh. <laughs> you're smiling. This is wild. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Let's see. Whoa. Oh. Big mama in the house. Hell. Yeah. Oh. Huh. She two foot two. Like the first 48 seconds remains undefeated. She two foot two. And she got the narrow comfort talking about. Can't be a narcissist, all right. She said, you know, he ain't, he ain't the my new man ain't got to be rich, but that'd be nice. <laughs> really, really, two for two, you two for two is over. Ain't no way in Hades. Listen here, we draw hard lines in the sand all twenty twenty four. If you two for two, shut your mouth. Take whatever you get. Two for two, one for one. Things happen. Good luck, Godspeed. You better present the world with your best self. But two for two, shut up. Shut Man. up. Man, hit the like button, folks. This is Half Off Shorty. Let me see you, boo. So this is Savina? Savina. It's like Selena, but with a B. Oh, oh like Selena, but with a B? B. B. So, okay. Savina. 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 Yes. Savina. All right, so we got Savina, 36. What's the age range you would date? Oh, um, I would say maybe 32 to 42. 32 to 42. Okay. She's in California. Should a guy be in California? Um, Yeah, I prefer someone in California. Someone in California. Okay. Do you want more kids? Um, it depends. It depends. I'm kind of in my, I'm kind of in my career right now, so and I'm ready to travel. So <laughs> you're in your career, you're ready to travel. So okay, so so you would prefer them to have kids? Um, either or, just not a lot of kids. Not a lot of kids. All right. When was your last relationship? About, about two years ago. Two years ago. Okay. You don't have to answer, but I'm gonna ask. When's the last time you was intimate with someone? I prefer not to tell okay three flaws you have to work on because you're nasty oh being on time um what else i think i don't know maybe i'm just too nice sometimes uh, it's hard to say no to people i'm a very caring person so i need to work on that and the third one i would say i can't think of a third one you can't think of a third one maybe say Staying consistent in the gym. There you go. Staying consistent <laughs> in the gym. <laughs> I got beans and bologna. Well, I would say more importantly than staying consistent in the gym is y'all got to push away from the table. So it don't matter if you go to the gym two or three days a week. That don't matter if you eat bull crap every day. So amen to that. I forget the percentage, but it's something like 80% of our fitness and wellness is via our diet. You know, being in the gym, running, lifting weights and stuff like that. Yeah, it's it's needed for cardiovascular muscle health. Where my man, where my man the beast for your uh for your skeletal muscles and stuff like that. Yeah, but there we go. The sister did show some accountability. Accountability poked out them cabinets and was like, "Here I am." She said, "I need to be more consistent being in the gym." I tell you what, that is that's that's impressive. Very impressive, Bonquisha. And she come off like these women come off like they sweet and kind. Like you got two kids by two men. 
Like, like, let's say she is sweet and kind. Now we to your judgment, your lack of judgment, yo. I mean, what do you call this? And why do y'all think somebody supposed to accept this madness? And yeah, this this facade of being sweet and kind, it's impossible for you really to be this sweet and you two for the two. That's way too much trauma built up all in through your bones. Ain't no way you can't be lighthearted two for two with two nug nugs on your back. Or or just absent, you see it don't it don't add up. This is a mask, man. And who's the master? He says, like Mister Walk always says, these blowed out heifers need to be walking around with uh, piping hot apple pies and knee pads if they want Mister Forty at best. Yeah, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it'll work. Here we go. <laughs> and why would a guy be lucky to be with you? Because um, I feel like I'm a great woman. Like I would support my man um, emotionally, um, and yeah, I'll be a great wife. Oh, so you want to get married? Eventually. Well, did you? Well, her, I was going to ask you this: How long you been desiring marriage? Um. I- I would say since my last relationship. Was that your child's father? No. So you didn't want to get married when you were having kids? I was young. I was young and, you know, it just happened. Oh, okay. Okay. Can, can, but now can, you want to be a wife. Uh, Told time yeah. out. They say it with a okay. smile. All right. It's so, so funny. I was, I huh. was, and it's, it's just such. A coverall, man. And even the well, women we talked up. about this before. They can't accept their realities. The deletion rates will be up. So it's understood why they do it. When she ain't about to sit here with a frown and cry about it. <laughs> this is what they're gonna give you. They trying to get Nug Nug in the door. They fooling you. Nug Nug, that's up to me. Y'all gotta be able to see through this crap. Because they gonna uh, do it, they ain't gonna stop doing it. That's they are see. Like, can you say, well, I, I was young and they smile and they say, I was young. Ah, next question. I was young. Go. Don't ask me again. <laughs> it, it, it's grinding my gears because it's so funny. You two for two looking for you two for two. Now you're looking for a husband. But now it's funny that you was young and dumb and full of cum. <laughs> it's over. Yeah. Shout out. I don't know if we got any psychologists in the group, but yeah, a lot of people laugh to you know, it's an emotional thing. They laugh to stop from, you know, whatever type of emotion they're trying to hide. So a lot of people do that. So that's all they got. <laughs> huh. all right, I lost it there, man. I'm tired of hearing it. I'm telling you. So, and what qualities you feel as though would make you a good wife? Um, I'm independent. Um, I can support myself. Um, I know how to cook. I know how to clean. Um, I'm just a loving person. Eleven person. All right, let's do it. Ooh, child, I don't want to mess your name up. Say it for me one more time. We got this, Sabina. Sabina. <laughs> yeah. Sabina. Oh, it's not hard. Yeah. It's not hard, Sabina. Sabina, thirty-six, Pisces, California, sales planning and analyst. Um, mom of two girls, fourteen and eight. Uh, my two men never married, but she would like to be a wife. So let's do it. Uh, what's the age range you would date? Thirty-two to forty-two. All right, how can the guy reach out to you both? Um, my Facebook, Savina Evadne. Say it again. It's on my Facebook, Savina Evadne. Savina Evadne. Okay. All right, boo, you keep me posted how it goes. Okay, thank you. So, you got to take that wig off, sister. She's still young. Was she 26, 27? This is the kind of woman, She by the time she's 40, she'll probably be four for four. You know, f- five for four or something wild like that. Completely, utterly blowed out, like a you know, four five hundo. <laughs> and it's unfortunate, but I, I see it trending. She just goes. Huh. She built real dense. She stout like a bulldog. She got like she got four. She got uh bicep tattoos, eyelashes, hair helmet, trauma, drama, two baby daddies. She got two baby daddies talking about the next man coming and going to marry her. I'll fight you. Where are you at? Show, him, show me this ninja. She two for the two. Looking how she looking. Presenting what she is. 
and you're going to go in there and say, you know what? I know you let two dudes shoot the club up recklessly. All right. However, I'm going to come in, help you take care of these here chillings, and I'm going to marry you. I'm going to pay the highest price for the lowest value. <laughs> Over to the sub, sister. The passengers of the doomed Titanic sub spent their last moments in total darkness looking for bioluminescent creatures out of the small window and listening to their favorite music. The new details of the five passengers' final moments have been revealed by the wife and mum of the father-son duo. Wait in the water, wait in the water, time and wait in the water. Something's gonna trouble the water. You better wait in the water. Hey, man. Hey. Hi. Mm. So here we go. If you're just coming in, hit the like button. We're about to pull this next sister up and then we're gonna get to the feature. So here we go. It's forty dollars skips. <laughs> hey, big mama. Elise, where you calling us from, honey? I'm in Rochester, New York. Rochester, New York. And how old yes. are you? I'm 28. 28. What do you do for a living? I'm a nurse. Okay. Nurse. <laughs> Elise, Rochester, New York, 28, nurse. Do you have any children? No, no kids. No kids. Okay. What's your zodiac sign? So I'm a Leo, but I'm nothing like a Leo. <laughs> okay. Well, well, so do you not do you not want to go by zodiacs? No, but my birthday is August twenty first. August twenty first. Okay, Elise Rochester, New York, twenty eight nurse, no kids. I think I got it all. All right, boo. Um, what kind of man you looking for? Um, I'm looking for a traditional gentleman. I know that's going to be hard to find, <laughs> but um, honest, loyal, responsible protective, a provider, um, romantic. That's what I'm looking for. So it's traditional. And you feel like it's going to be hard to find? Um, so far, it's been hard to find. <laughs> yeah. I mean, the world got smaller. You know, the internet is a gift and a curse. So like I always say, back in the day, all you had to worry about, the only, I, I hate to use the word competition, but a lot of times the men that most of y'all want to date, you just as the women in the city. Now with the internet child, they everywhere. But let's see, let's keep going. What are your deal breakers? Um, a liar, a cheater, and um hygiene. Like if your hygiene is not up to par, I can't. Hygiene up to par. Okay. I can't do it. <laughs> okay. Um, um and a lot of kids. I don't I don't date dudes okay. with kids. I know dudes with kids. All right. Um, should he look a certain way? Um, handsome, tall. Well, I'm short, so everyone's taller than me. Okay. So. Okay. How tall are you? Um, so handsome. I'm four foot okay. eleven. Handsome, tall. So okay. Um, feature feature wise, hands just handsome, tall. Okay. What about money? Um, she make a certain amount of money. Yes, because I make a certain type of money. So I would hope that he will make over 150K a year. 150K what? a year? What? Yeah. That's like the minimum. What? Oh, child. That's the minimum. Okay. <laughs> so now I'm understanding. So you want basically, you want a top 10% guy because you want him to be handsome, tall. You want him to be traditional. You want him to make at least 150K. Um, and okay, okay, perfect. Ain't no okay. Making us pay for water, you son of a. You're making us pay for grapes, apples, things that God gave us for free. Oh. Listen, can just stop sparing this Bonquisha's feelings. I don't care that she ain't got no kids. She's still very much giving bloated it completely out. And can just say, I don't like to use the word compete or competition. She won't tall, dark, and handsome, making 150K minimum. Much competition. Much, much, so much competition. Kendra, her wanting that man is the equivalent 
of you know someone going to their local high school and going to the school during Special Olympics <laughs> and grabbing one of those very special young kids and going and put them at the starting line at the National Olympics. That's her chance at competing. You understand? She's liable to be running backwards. <laughs> it ain't happening. 150K. Look at her face. 150K? Won't that? Look at her. She ain't smiling. She ain't light. She look like she got a mean straight and a hook for you. <laughs> this is wild. But you know what, Bone Christian? We're going to give you some motivation. You can do it. You can do it. You can do it. You got to believe you can do it. You got to believe you can do it. Don't worry about it. She don't believe you can do it. Don't worry about it. He don't believe you can do it. It don't matter if they don't believe you can do it. You got to believe you can do it. You got to think you can do it. You got to feel like you can do it. You got to constantly tell yourself you can do it. 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 And that's the truth. All right. <laughs> yeah. Boom, mm. That's Holy that's her. That's Bone Quisha's hype, man. That's how her friends and her gynocratic circle jerk beat it. Like you can do it, Bone Quisha. Hundred fifty k. You weigh two fifty. Hundred fifty. What's that? Four hundred. <laughs> yeah, but you could do it. All you got to do is keep telling yourself that you can do it, and you can. There's some truth to that. <laughs> And they say right after he did that, the police walked in like, you going to jail now. Yeah. <laughs> That's what you can do out here wasting uh, white man's good milk and cereal <laughs> like that. <laughs> here we go. Let's do the Kendrick game. Oh. Okay. I'm at work. So <laughs> I had to take my work badge off. Let's see. Okay. Okay. You said you're four eleven. Well, do I gotta? Yeah, I'm four foot eleven. So I don't know if you want me to do it even further back. Or well, we can see your legs. I can kind of see you though. Okay. Yeah. I'm... Okay. Yeah. All right. Now you have no kids, and you work at a nurse, so you're you're a nurse. Do you normally date men that yes. make one hundred and fifty k? So I have before. Okay. Um. He just didn't have time for me because he had like, he had three businesses. So he didn't have time for me. Right. And then when I went back to school, um, that's when he was like, oh, I have all this time for you. And I'm like, well, I'm in school. I can't, I can't do that. Okay. So now, now you're out of school. Did he, did he get married? Like, is he not option anymore? No, he is not option anymore because he looks at me like he wishes I was, 21 year old Elise. He wishes I was the party Elise. Wanted to get drunk a lot. That like I'm not that anymore. Okay. So he doesn't look at me for this person. Understand. Yeah. So okay, what's your age range? Um, desire. You're 28. So 30 to low 40s. 30 to low 40s. Okay. 30 to low 40s. And you want him to have? Can you want him to have no kids, right? It will be nice if he didn't have kids. If he has like one or two, that's like pushing it. But I've had someone that wanted to talk to me that had like six, seven kids. And I'm like, that's not going to work. Okay. Okay. <laughs> this is sick. And I don't, I don't care if she's in New York City. You know, it don't even matter. Nope. Like we got to stop. Everybody in New York City don't make 100K. That ain't just, just because the cost of living is higher don't mean everybody makes it. There are still broke yeah. people. There are still <laughs> people making 40K, 50K right in New York City. And you know where they live? You don't want to know. <laughs> I'm trying to tell you. And well, we got to stop. Every dang near every Kendrick contestant that comes here making around 90,000 and up. They either making 90,000 and up or they ain't working at all. All right? That's that's what we get. Ain't no woman camper being really modest. They come up lying. They don't just work at Walmart. They run Walmart, all right? <laughs> they always come up here grandizing, but whatever. The sister ain't as blowed out as we as that camera angle was given. And that's unfortunate. Shout out to Pick Meek. 
Yeah, these camera angles ain't doing them no justice, sister. But nevertheless, she was she ain't got no kids, right? She childless, I think. And yeah, she got a bare wound. That's her saving grace right now. It really so. is. I'm trying... hmm. But here we go. We she wants super chats here. Okay. <laughs> Shout out to Bizzle T. Appreciate you. He says, ain't no way in Hades. Yeah, not 150K. Appreciate you, Tracy Ann. Says she is a patient in the mental hospital. <laughs> Perhaps. <laughs> Shout out to the incredible one. Been a member for three months. Appreciate you. He says, I got $40 and 60 if you're nasty. That part. Mm -hmm. Appreciate the triple X says Gavin X face when she said 150k egregious egregious she don't look good enough it's um it ain't unfortunate we she don't look good enough to for that just don't man Sorry. shout out to Bernie's road book tour appreciate you brother says they master selfies but dumb with the Kinder cam yeah they know what's coming. <laughs> Shout out to the brother Jay Gray, been a member for five months strong. Says the only man she deserves is a culture negro. Mm. Shout out to Sal Bill, come through the five dollars. He says she said 150k for one reason. The doctors that clash medical meets with her make 150k. She thinks that's what she deserves. No, there you go. And like you said, we operate in shout out to Jay Gray when he said this. All she deserves is a couch Negro. Like I said, 20 something, no kids. And women say, What do y'all mean? Y'all no, we we gonna keep operating on every side of the extremes at this point. So when she mm -hmm. come in here asking for the top five percent man, and then what did the men say back? You get a couch Negro. So we're just gonna live in the land of extremes. Here we yeah. are. <laughs> yeah, yep. There you go. We can't be logical, they ain't been logical. Shoot, huh. gotta meet them where they at. <laughs> That's all. <laughs> Shout out to Project Leroy. Appreciate you, brother. He says, not with those two chins for 150K. Exactly. That's what we oh. see. Y'all don't. A man that has went out here, y'all going to get this. He done went out and took the beating that it takes to earn at least 150K on U.S. soil, especially a melanated man. He wants something in return for his sacrifice. And it ain't two chins. It ain't no brutish woman. Telling him what he better do. That ain't it. Man. Oh, should he be in Rochester, New York? No, because I am going to be moving this year. So you don't have to be in Rochester. Rochester, in Rochester is a very tiny, small, um, a, a really tiny uh, town. So, no. Okay. <laughs> um, when was, we got that. So well, no, when was your last relationship? Um, My last relationship was about two years ago, we were trying, but it just didn't work. Okay. Um, you don't have to answer, but I'm gonna ask. When's the last time you was intimate with someone? Um, last year, around November. Okay. Three flaws you have to work on, and when it comes to a relationship. Um, affection, maybe giving too much in the beginning. Like I was taught to be a wife. Like I was taught to really give to the person I'm talking to. So I think I give too much. Like full course men uh, dinners and stuff like that. Like I just need to chill out for like in the beginning. Uh -huh. um, that and maybe I work a little bit too much so maybe i need to slow down on working so. okay all right work too much and um why would a guy be lucky to be with you um i was raised to be a wife um i'm loving i'm kind um i give happiness to everyone that's around me so i will always encourage you i was always motivate you so that's why. Okay. Not saying you have to, I'm just asking for clarity. Would you date a man that made less than 150K? Um, no. 
This is wild. Okay. What? Because I, that's what I, 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 I make close to that song. Woo! Don't, don't play with it. Come, come correct. 150K at the door. But she a wife. Yeah. Man. I didn't is this camera on me? Yes, it's on. That's stupid. Use your common sense. She ain't backing off. I'll give her that. You're resilient, Bonquisha. <laughs> She's she's listen, li listen. <laughs> Everyone's not forgettable, especially when it comes to these women clashing these kind of men. She like listen. She said this ninja. She said I know he make hundred fifty k. He picked me up in the S class bins. All right, we went to Papa Do's. He had on clothes that I like, smelling how I like, and he clashed my meats in an epic way. And she like I I won't take nothing less. <laughs> she she like I don't care. She said I know. What that did for me. I know what that did for my little man in the boat. That I need that whole package. She like, look at it. She like, no. Nah, I need that 150K package. Not just the bread. It comes in the whole package. And she want all that. With her little short stubby self. She like, she like, I'm I'm four foot eleven. Give me this six foot six joker driving that S class. Cause I know he's gonna give me what I want. He's gonna pick me up. <laughs> so here we go. I'm gonna let her keep going. She's giving private IG, but let's see. Let's see. We'll check. Let's see if it's private or not. Let's let her give her hashtag and y'all can do y'all journalism. <laughs> do it. All right. We got Elise, Rochester, New York, 28, nurse. No kids. Um, she'll date 30 to 40. She's a nurse. Um, she wants a traditional man. She wants him to be hot and handsome. Um, you said dark skin too, correct? No. Oh, no. Okay. No, it handsome. doesn't matter. All right, but a traditional yes. man. Let's do it, boo. How can I reach out to you? Um, my Facebook is Elise Anderson, Elise? or my Instagram is underscore Elise A. So my name is spelled A L E A S E. And there you have it. All right, boo. You keep me posted how it goes, baby. Uh, okay. okay. Thank, thank you. So hopefully y'all got that. She she had a little short stubby thing. The Kendra can't want given. More than likely, she probably got some yams on her, right? That's probably what it is. And she getting some kind of empty validation. So easy. Uh, she says something else, and it caught my <laughs> well. She said about three times that she was raised to be a wife, but I'm like, that's cap. Because because your husbands don't start off with 150k, and your mama would have told you that. And she'd also told you to be in shape if you want that guy. If your mama raised you to be a wife, if you told your mama I'm looking for a 100K man and she's a wife herself, she gonna say, well, baby, you need to get some of that up off your back. You need to mm -hmm. lose some weight. Man, shout out to them old grandmas that would tell their sisters what it is. You know, they, they would look at their daughters. They look at their pretty fit feminine daughter. But hey, baby, you keep yourself together. Get in that kitchen, learn how to cook, and you get you a man that's going to take care of you. And then she look at her other daughter. That's a little bit more homely, a little bit broader shoulders, you know. And she said, babe, you make sure you get you a good job and better take care of yourself. <laughs> the old grandma, the old, the real ones used to keep it a buck. They did. They used to, they used to tell their daughters what it was going to be. Give them a, a righteous path to travel. Like, look, you portly and unsightly, keep a job. You fit and feminine, get you a man. <laughs> that part. Shout out to the good brother Andrew Fain. Says these be dub nurses are not hunching doctors. The the counterparts are. They are hunching the janitors and the transporters. This 150k standard is nuts. Okay, some context. <laughs> Appreciate you, Bizzle T coming back through. Says their flaws are never flaws. We must do better. That's that I think that's what it was. Her flaw is she loved too good. <laughs> <laughs> appreciate you skinny boy says all right fellas two for two b and chill or 150k bay two for two b her this here with the 150k price tag because she got a she ain't popped out no kids she need to simmer down mm. appreciate you izzy devote says Malik Evans, mayor of Rochester, doesn't make 150k. I seen that. I don't think any mayors typically don't make too much money. They get a good amount of perks. Yeah, there you go. But nevertheless.
Money, 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 money. Shout out to Divine Photos, always supporting his interests. Says, if you go by delusional stats, 99.999% of Kendrick contestants make 100K or more. I'm, or they ain't got no job at all, and they still want Mr. Six Figures. <laughs> Man. So this one here, a lot of delusion. She in New York. She come up here acting like she Nicki Minaj or something. So, yeah, she thinks she Nicki. Go ahead and talk to her, Mucho. You think you Nicki Minaj, huh? Huh. I'm over here looking like Nicki Minaj. And we will always have this moment for life. For life. For life. Now we will always have this moment for life. For life. All right. <laughs> Shout out to Mucho. Uh, that was that's what she's the acting least, like. That was the least flattering lipstick Mucho ever had. It looked like she definitely had that bumpity bump up on that lip. <laughs> Big Mucho <laughs> in the house, watch your mouth. Yeah. Fresh out of Facebook jail. And she dropping nothing but heat, folks. <laughs> yeah! Boom, Takalaka! So, but heat, I'm over it. So here we go. We at the feature. Now it's time to cook. I know a lot of y'all are only here for this. It seems like once the show, y'all be knowing what's coming and y'all waiting for us to cook. Granted, here we are. Who that? Who that is? Who that is that feature is? A Bonquisha? A Gatekeeper? Uh, uh, what we call them? A Transformer Tron? A Nakisha Tron? <laughs> we got $100 skip, folks. It's time! There we go. No. That's somebody's wife right there. Let her talk. That's somebody's wife. How old are you? I am 31. 31? Well, you have any kids? I do. I have a 12 year old son. Okay. Have you ever been married? No, I've never been married. Okay. What do you do for a living? So I'm actually an assistant branch manager at True Lion Federal Credit Union. Say again. I'm an assistant branch manager at True Lion Federal Credit Union. Okay, so assistant manager yes. at a credit yes, union? Yes, ma'am. And what's your zodiac sign? I am a Sagittarius. All right, Sagittarius. All right, so we got Lay. She has a, you could, you could say her name again for the people. Malayaka. Malayaka. She's from yes. Charlotte. Malaya Cuff from Charlotte, North Carolina, 31, Sagittarius. Mom to a 12-year-old son, never married, assistant manager at a credit union. What kind of man are you looking for, girl? So, to be honest with you, Kendra, um, I'm looking for someone who's honest. Like, if it's not a relationship you want, if you want a friend, then say you want a friend. I was in a really long situationship, about five years, honestly, which brought me down to Charlotte, and I got my heart broken down here. So originally I'm from Maryland. So I want to meet someone who's honest and, and, and intentional. Um, like I said, I'm 31. I have a 12 year old son. I want someone who's a good role model, a good figure. I'm not looking for anyone to play the father role. He has a father who's involved, but I do want someone who sets a good example for my son. You know, someone who's emotionally in tune with themselves because I felt like in my past, I, I can honestly say, I know you'll ask me my flaws at some point, but I can honestly say that um, I'm emotionally dependent when I'm dealing with someone. And I just want someone who can be e not emotional with me, but who understands and accepts the fact that as a female, I do have a softer side. And I just want someone who supports that. Okay, I want to I want to ask about something though. You said love moved you to Charlotte, North Carolina? Yes. Was your child's father? <laughs> no, I haven't been with my child's father since he was about three. Okay, so when did you move to Charlotte? I moved to Charlotte in August of 2023. Okay, wait, last year. Yeah. So what happened? Wait a minute, what happened? Um, 
like I said, apparently one of my flaws is that I'm an emotional being. And by emotional, I'm not crazy or anything like that. But when I deal with you, I love really hard, Kendra. I love really, really hard. And when my feelings get hurt, I'll let you know. Like sometimes, yes, I may cry or whatever, but the wait, person wait, that I'm But doing... tell me how you relocated. Was you in a relationship? What do you yes. back to so the person that I was dealing with also lived in Maryland. We're both from Maryland. And he relocated to Charlotte. Um, he was in Charlotte before me for about two years. And he, you know, would constantly bring up, why don't you move to Charlotte? Why don't you move to Charlotte? And then I ended up and moving you guys, to Charlotte. And, and he's saying this as your man. Y'all in a relationship. Okay. Yes, ma'am. Mm -hmm. okay. And then when I moved down, um, I hate to say this, but this is how I explained it to my girlfriends. It almost seemed like um, when he realized that he was all I had to depend on, it kind of got taken advantage of and it just didn't go the way I But well, you just got there August is what maybe six months ago? Yep. Six, seven so what months did ago. Break up? Um, maybe about two months ago. And it's, did y'all live together when you moved there? No, I had my own place. He had his own place. But you moved mm -hmm. down because of this man. Yeah, and so to be honest with you, Kendra, once I moved down to Charlotte, I quickly realized that he had his own life in Charlotte. Regardless of him asking me to come down or not, like I quickly realized that he had his own life in Charlotte. Ooh, okay. Here we go. We belong together, baby. When you left, I lost somebody. Me. Come back, baby, please, because we belong together. Yeah. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa. Listen, I said it. I'm going to keep saying it till y'all get it. I do believe this is a unique talking point. Everybody's not forgettable. You can't just be out here dealing with anybody, Bonquisha. She done met him. And he's like, move down to Charlotte. She done uprooted herself and everything. She met him. You can't just be out here. That's why, glory to the Godfather, that's why dating is stupid. You know, you can't just end up in the clutches of him and he's going to have his way with you. And you a whole baby mama. This ain't this one the father of her kid. This was a whole nother guy. So after the kid, now she a baby mama. And now she meets him. Ha <laughs> ha. And he like, he like, I like her. She dope. The yams is yam and the cheeks is cheeking, but that kid, and he just did what he did. And he so allegedly he strung her along. Allegedly. But like y'all saying, that was her number one. That was her first pick. She thought she founded him. And he's like, nah, this ain't gonna work. It's it's over. What y'all call this? She been alpha widowed. These, these, it's not, she can't forget him. Look at her. Look at her. Look at her. <laughs> we know what that look. We done seen this. Look. Because you done got addicted to penis juice, and now truth knocking you smooth across your damn forehead. Y'all don't, don't get it. Y'all don't get how how really horned up these women are. She's sitting there thinking, she's like, yeah, last time, the way he had me. Now the next guy coming in got to deal with this ninja. <laughs> what he done did to her. Look at her. She reminiscing. Here we go. Okay, so now you're single. Um, wow. So would you leave, or are you going to stay there? To be honest with you, um, I was literally just telling my best friend this. Um, maybe within like the next year or so, I'm thinking about relocating to Houston. Um, but as of right now, Charlotte's home for me. Um, I know how to bounce back pretty easily. Like I said, I'm I'm working. At the end of the day, I still have to be a mom. So my focus has shifted to other things, but. Okay, some of the cousins, here. listen. Okay, so also the cousins, they they miss, they pick up on things that I miss. They're saying okay. that you said it was a situation, not a relationship. So I call it a situation now because I feel like maybe I was more involved than what he was. But at the same time, like I said, honestly, he asked me to move down here. We were intimate. We've been dealing with each other for a very, very long okay, time. Well, like like I said, so you never had the conversation of you're my man, I'm your girl? Yeah, we've absolutely had that conversation. So we've absolutely why had that conversation. Why was it confused whether it was a situationship or a relationship? 
because when I moved down here to Charlotte, like I said, I quickly realized that he had a totally different life outside of my understanding of what Let we did. Let me ask you this, not so to I, cut you off. Not to no cut problem. You off, but why didn't you move mm -hmm. in with him? Like, he wanted you to move and get your own apartment? So, <laughs> that was never offered. That was never something that was on the table. Like, move down here and we gonna get a place together. That was never something that we discussed. Well, that's why, I've never that's, lived that's with the man. I think that's the biggest. <laughs> no, right there. I mean, sincerely, like, listen, I'm all for relocating, but if someone's asked you to relocate, then we're moving in together, right? If, if I'm moving my city, it should be, or state, it should be serious enough that we are moving in together. Where did you live? I lived in Maryland, in so Upper Marlboro, PG County. Why never an option for you to move in with him? I'm not sure, Kendra. He, he, it's not like he's living with another woman or anything like that. That wasn't the why case. Why wasn't that your requirement? Like, why, why, if I'm going to move me and my child from a different state, why didn't you require, like, are we moving in together? Like, what is this? Ladies, don't be afraid to ask these questions. And, and you aren't saying anything that I've never heard before, Kendra. Like I said, I have friends who are very transparent with me and all my friends say the same thing. I will be completely honest and say that I was wrapped up in this situation like head over heels over this person. Um, he's a little bit older than me, so I was completely gone off this man, to say the least. Um, when he moved, it was almost like I felt like I lost my best friend. So when he finally asked me to move down, even though it wasn't me moving in with him, because I was closer to him, it made me feel better, so... Man. This is terrible. The weenie uh, juice. Where you at, Queenless? Because you didn't got addicted to penis juice, <laughs> and now truth knocking you smooth across your damn forehead. I you know what? This ain't sad. This is the side of the game that Bone Quisha refuses to tell that some of these brave souls will. Mm. Y'all listen here. Physical intimacy goes both ways. Y'all keep running around here talking about dudes ain't ish and this and that. Then y'all run into somebody, a healthy, a healthy strong boy. And now you can't let loose. All, all so tied and bound up. Talking about five year situationship. For five years, he had his way with you. This is a, this a ninja ninja. <laughs> five mm. years. And made you move. And you won't move with him. <laughs> City boys is way up. Five years. Hey, this dude sound like Jadena. My man Jadena said, he said, I robbed so many women out there, youth. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I'm yeah, gonna stop playing. They be thinking they cuda cat is so undefeated. I say glory to them. Yeah, for they for they uh for their ignorance and a boisterous attitudes. These women are like, oh, this cuda cat, I put this cuda cat on you. No, now you weenie drunk and you all dazed and confused. It's she keep looking, she reminiscing about Weenie as she having this conversation. She hoping so desperately that this dude see this and come like, hey, babe, let's let's get that old thing back. She belongs to yeah, him She's forever. sitting here, she's telling every woman from now on. This my, he's mine. You may have had him once, but I got him all the time. You can't sleep at night. He's mine. You may have had him once, but I got him all the time. I got him all the time. Hell! All the time. Man, <laughs> here we go. You kind of said this a little bit earlier when you said situation shit. This is a situation where you may have been more into him than he was in theater. And I can honestly admit to that. Okay. Kendra, okay, you so have to make me what? cry. I did not come on this show to cry with you, what you tonight. Cry? And make what it was it? I was crying. Where is that? I don't. I don't want to get you to cry. That's not my goal. Gina, either. Over that weenie. My goal is I ask enough questions for us to get to the honest truth, so you can mm -hmm. see it for what it is. So I guess my question is, what made you decide that this is over? Like, what happened two months ago that now you know for sure he's not what you want, or this is not what you want? What happened? Because I made such a big change. I made such a big sacrifice. I left a really good paying job in Maryland. And I relocated me and my son. And from the moment I touched down in Charlotte, things were kind of weird. Like within the first couple of weeks of us talking, I mean, from the within the first couple of weeks of me moving down here, it was almost like we were always at odds. Like we were always at odds and then things would get better. And then 
we'd be at odds again and then things would get better. It was just almost like a seesaw. So it just got to a point where we were just kind of over it. They calling me Dick Dung. I said I dealt with him for a long time. It wasn't just about the sex. It wasn't just about the sex. This man, okay, so let me just speak to the cousins for a second. So this man, um, not only was he my lover or whatever you want to call him, but he was also my friend. I got my class A CDL with him. He put me onto a bunch of businesses. We started a trucking company together. Like we we did a lot of different things together. So it wasn't just about the set. So I'm sorry that y'all feel that way, but it wasn't just that. Listen, listen, listen I, I, I stay here. I'm 44. You're 31. Um, I stay here sometimes. I say things to you guys because I've been through what you guys have already been through, right? Um, mm -hmm. But listen, I'm going to give you grace. I think you learned a lesson. A lot of people learn. I will just say anybody watching and we can just learn from the situation. If you're going to relocate and you're with a, a man and you're dating, you're relocating for that person. I think it makes common sense to say, okay, uh, we're moving in together, right? Like this is a big, if I'm going to rearrange my life, what are our steps? Am I just moving just to move closer? No, I'm moving because we're going to build this life together. And then if you can't get that before you go, then I will say don't go. Mm -hmm. Don't move when you have a child too. I completely Listen. agree with you. I completely agree with you. And a lot of people have told me, go back to Maryland. And it, I mean, like, that's definitely an option. But at the same time, I can't just keep packing up my son and leaving. Like, at this point, I'm here. And I just got to establish myself here. That's all. All right. So. It's been five months since you went away. Oh, sister. This is. See that? that so hard. She said, I was waiting at the phone. She said, when he first moved to South Carolina, I was pretty much waiting. When he told me to come, my bags was already packed. Like, the yes. me and, my son, me and my kid, we was already packed. I was waiting for him to just tell me to come. Mr. Uh, Mr. Six Figures introduced this woman into his world. He said, come on, let me show you. Help me with some clerical work. Get, my, get our CDLs. Let's get some stuff cracking. Because that's how these dudes move. They're like... That we ain't doing nothing. Some gonna get productive out of this meat hunching. All right, you gonna we gonna gain some ground here financially. And she got introduced to a world she wasn't ready for, and nor did she, did she really meet the criteria to stay with that bastard child and all. Like I'm telling you, I seen this happen before when I worked for a moving company. I told this story before, and this dude. He moved this baby mom with him. I helped move her. I, she told me. And we going, and, and this guy moved this baby mom with him, and it's because she was super duper fit, super fit, feminine, and but she had a kid. And like just a little short time, we was there moving the stuff in for a whole day. You can see how his demeanor towards her. He's like, you got a whole kid, and I'm letting you into my world. And that's usually how these guys treat them. They know what it is, hence the five year situation. Shout out to your daddy plug says, What if God, what if God was one of us? <laughs> Shout out to South Bill says, I'm not crazy or anything. Yeah, no, of course you're not. <laughs> Appreciate your surcharge says, Support my interests. Appreciate you, brother. Sal Bill comes through, says her mask is cracking. Slight pushback and take a look. Mm -hmm. Appreciate your project, Leroy. Says she's not honest at all, to be honest. <laughs> Appreciate your divine photos. Says remember the super chat club owner Kendra cussed out for flying out four women from the show? I wonder if it was her. <laughs> her, her. He right. These women have no standards. Now, when they meet him, they don't. Shout out to Rachai Media. Come through like you do with the $10. Says they were booty call friends. He moved to another state and was there for two years. But she continued to stay in contact for the booty calls. Delusional and infatuated. She moved closer to him for the meets. <laughs> Man, <laughs> appreciate your brother Jay Gray. Says, I'll say it again the devil is a lie with dime pick. <laughs> mm -hmm. Shout out.
shout out to the notorious NIG. Come through the ten dollars. Appreciate you. He says, I don't believe he asked her to move there. She was whining about him being gone, and he asked, Why don't you move here? And she followed him there. No way he asked her to move there, but not move in. That's that's just gotta be facts. Like, yes, yeah. Uh. Hmm. Appreciate your Frederick Howard. Says the Winnie Stair Tales, directed by Mr. Braca Monroe. Ooh. <laughs> So here we go. This sister here. I can't believe he slept with her behind my back. Oh, oh. <laughs> okay. okay. Well, okay. So now she's here looking for the right man. The right man. So let's move forward. <laughs> uh, again, you gave me a long list of, this is why I asked you about, because you said you moved. What are your deal breakers? Uh, my deal breakers, like I said, would be someone who isn't, emotionally in tune like a man who can't express himself um someone who's a liar a cheater someone who's a narcissist someone who takes advantage of someone's vulnerability um uh someone who doesn't have a good relationship with family um i feel like that's very important for me i want a husband and i want someone who has that 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 role model in their life of what a good husband is or what a family should look like so that they know how to create one for themselves. Okay. Um, should he look a certain way? <laughs> um, I do have a type. I like a brown skinned man with a beard, clean cut, in shape. That's my preference, yes. Okay. Hmm. Um, what about money? Should you make a certain amount of money? uh yeah i would say at least 60k i don't think that's okay. asking for too much at least 60k could he have kids already yes that's fine who am i to say that they can't have kids i have a 12 year old it's okay do you want more children i do i want at least one more i really want a daughter really bad mm -hmm. okay one more now um so do you want the guy to be in charlotte he doesn't have to be in charlotte no Okay. Someone says she needs to heal first. I don't know if I agree with that, to be honest. I mean, there are some people that come on the show, child, and I do feel like they need to heal, child. But mm -hmm. sometimes, um, you know, this is one of the reasons why men, men, and I don't agree with this, but men don't soak in the house and listen to sad love songs and crying when they're going through a, a breakup. They go on to the next vagina. Now, I'm not saying I agree with that either, but they keep it pushing. I, I, no, I think you should keep it pushing. I think you're an attractive girl. Um, you know, you moved out here. You took a chance on love. You know, you learned that it wasn't what you desired. No, I think you're in a, a, a place where you can meet someone. Don't have sex right away. I don't believe anybody should have sex right away whenever they meet with anybody. But I think, no, I don't think she should be sitting in the house, smoking over this man. Like, I really want you to show him, like, okay, we're going to keep it pushing. Like... You, 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 you had a, you had a great woman. You luck, you missed out. Now let me make myself available for the guy that's gonna treat me the way that it is. So no, I actually think you're doing the right thing by trying to be somebody else. All right, let's humbly, Kendra, Kendra, I can say humbly, I can say that I actually have been working on healing me. You know what I mean? Because like I said, one of my flaws is the fact that I'm emotionally reliant. And that can be an issue. So maybe that is something within myself that I need to address so that I'm not so reliant on anybody, whether it be a friendship or relationship, whatever, on somebody being there for my emotions. So to an extent, I can agree with the cousins to an extent. But as far as me sitting around and moping, I'm over that. I'm so over that, Kendra. Stop the cap. Yeah. She walked in on that brother one day and she... <laughs> man she had, she was about to cry and we talked about this anybody sorry to peel away this band-aid off your oozing wounds but if you can't recall you know hard or traumatic instances from your past without getting emotional you're not healed from them this is that they weren't even really talking about too much in depth and she said Kendra, you gonna make <laughs> He gonna make me cry thinking about that quality meat clash and I can't get no more Kendra. That don't don't talk about him. Don't make me think about him. If that ninja walked through that door with some punk ass flowers, talking sweet nothings, 
hey, you know, I messed up. I'm sorry. You know, you know, I got a lot. You know, I got three businesses. You, <laughs> you know, I got a lot going on. But I tell you what, I'm I'm not busy this weekend. Why don't you come? Come, let's 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 catch up. She gone. If he was a shit, hang the phone up right now. Like, Kendra, I got to go. I got a man. <laughs> man. And that's big down for the best one time. How the fuck did this just happen? I, I was in control at first. Let me tell you. Yo, I was in control. I, I was. I was in control, y'all. And then all of a sudden, I dropped the goddamn baton. And dropped that motherfucker. Yeah. I dropped the whole baton, y'all. So, you know? Uh huh. Yeah, she dropped that whole meat sausage. <laughs> she dropped it. She wants it back. <laughs> Shout out to Tracy and always coming through like she do. Says his wife put a restraining order on her by. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Oh man, dang it. It gets deep. Appreciate yourself, Bill. Says I'm calling it. She's built brazy. She definitely is. She keep pulling down that one piece over her yams. Yeah, she most likely is built brazy. There we go. She gonna stand up. Money, 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 money. Appreciate your EJ Uno coming through the ten dollars. Says only reason she is on Kendra is to make dude jealous. She is his. Done and done. I'm trying to tell y'all. <laughs> Shout out to Project Leroy. Says, Kendra, stop lying. She can't move on to the next guy because she has to be vulnerable to the next man. There you go. For SEX, that doesn't work for men being vulnerable. There you go. Yeah, it's over her. Don't nobody talk to this woman. She need to go back and make it work with that dude. <laughs> man. You lose. You lose. Hey, if she is a sad piece, she need to simmer down. And just play her role because she belonged to him. All right, let's do it. Let's do the kids you can. Okay, boy. Okay. I still got all my work clothes, but it should be fine. Let's let's just hope that this is the work you clothes? Was about to cry, child. I was Does. okay. You look good, you're in great shape. Thank you. Let me ask you a question now. When the last time you talked to the guy you moved down to from Charlotte? Um, it's probably been about a month. Okay, listen, you might have a horny night. Don't fall for it. It's funny, Kendra, because if I'm being honest, Is it? today I've, I had a moment. I had a moment. And I was like, I'm going to call him. I was like, no, Please. don't call Do not bet. Do not. Because look, you, you look good. You, 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 you're you in good shape. You don't move to a whole different state. So I know he got, he, he, he. He's doing something right. No one it's slim pickings. It's slim pickings in Charlotte, Kendra. I it know, is but, very... but, but here's but here, but here's the tone. Here's what I'm gonna tell you. Here's what I'm gonna tell you. If you <laughs> if if you prove to him that he is still your sexual quench, mm -hmm. right? Then he's mm -hmm. then he's gonna understand that and he's never gonna rise to this occasion because he's gonna know that you have nobody else to have sex with. And he'll just be doing what he does, and then you'll call him when you get to those real vulnerable moments. So I'm encouraged. I'm listen. I'm just saying, if, if you want to get off of this train with this man in particular, and you really do want someone you can build a life with, you're gonna have to control that urge. Because but that's Kendra, where a lot to be of honest with you, I'm not even like a huge sexually driven person. It's not even I about sex. Care. It's the we company. Not the cat. I don't, I don't care what it is, honey. Let me tell you. If you can't tackle that, you're not going to prove anything different to him, and you're going to be okay. going on this cycle. Well, Kendra, she done told y'all already. He might be doing you, but he's thinking about me. So anything about another lover, then go find another brother. I know he's my man. He's all in my hand and feel good when he call my name. Don't you wish you had the same? Hell! <laughs> she uh, said, Kendra, don't you wish you had the same? Don't you wish you had a super toxic alpha male raking you over the coals so that you don't know which way is up to, Kendra? This is a don't know which way is up. She said, Kendra, I ain't gonna lie. She said, today I had a moment. I was like, should I call him? And I said, you know what? I ain't gonna call him. Matter of fact, screw him. She all matched. I'm gonna call Kendra. <laughs> 
and make him jealous. Ladies and gentlemen, nug nugs and bonquishas of the jury. Are we not once again right? Are we not? She said just today. To this day. Not, not last month. She said to this day that weenie on her mind. She can't let it loose. She said, can I be honest with you? <laughs> she getting, she's still getting emotional. She said, I'm gonna get, I'm gonna let you know. I had a moment before I called you. It's rough, you know, and, and I was gonna call him. I did call him, but he didn't answer, so I called you. <laughs> and it's safe to say they've been sleeping together within the last 90 days. And as a great man once said. That's all she care about. Cannon pump and pump. Cannon pump and pump. That's it. No, I'm not even. It ain't about the sex like that. She said, she, her word, she said, I'm not even all hypersexual like that. Ain't nobody saying nothing about hypersexuality. She said, that was you. She said, I ain't crazy. Ain't nobody call you crazy. That was you. So what do we have here? We have a crazy hypersexual narcissist. <laughs> Man. Yeah. Boom, shakalaka. If that dude was to come into the camera shot right now and walk behind her and he just said, come here. She said, Kendra, I got to go. Y'all y'all really didn't understand how deep this goes. She going to start crying and get naked. <laughs> Here we go. Because you didn't got addicted to penis juice, and now truth knocking you smooth across your damn forehead. And that's okay. just this is just real talk, ladies. I'm telling you what I know for sure. You are mm -hmm. gonna have to prove to this man. This is why men, and I don't know him. I don't know him, but if you moved, I'm assuming he's attractive. I don't think you're just moving for somebody that's not attractive. So I'm gonna assume right. he's attractive. I'm assuming he could put it down. I don't think you'll pack your bag and your child you can't put it down. <laughs> Some, no, for real. So Look, at real Look at her. Look at her face. Look at her. If you, <laughs> you, I don't care if it's six months from now. If you go back six months, because you already proved that you're willing to move. So you already, he already got a little ego. Like you picked up your life and you moved for him, right? right. So he got right. you in the city. So and he also knows that you don't really know a lot of people in the city. So it's it's in his favor. But you are gonna it's gonna take a lot of discipline, and I'm gonna say prayer or whatever you need. But figure it out, because if in six months, three months, I don't care, you go back to him and you have sex with him, you're just going to just prove to him. I'm going to be have right back options. in the same spot. You'll be in the cycle, so family. you won't get off the cycle. This is mm -hmm. why, listen, this is why I tell you, I believe in blocking. I believe in no contact. I don't care, no contact. Your mama died, your mama died. Make sure you rest in peace. <laughs> that don't got nothing to do with me, because you got to talk. Kendra, you know, that's terrible. Because, but it's not terrible. Well, because let me tell you why it's not terrible. Your life and your future is on the line. Don't you yeah. want to get to your happily ever after? Absolutely. Like you have to, everyone's like, you love so hard. How about this? You said, I love so hard. Love so hard on yourself. Love so hard mm -hmm. on yourself that you love yourself too much to allow somebody to play with you. I'm not, right. I'm right. Saying, I'm not saying his mother died, you'd be happy. What I'm saying is, if you know sending a condolence, will get you back in the rapture that you don't send that condolence you got to choose you and your child and your future first and ladies this is real like it be if you go back to when you left a man and you go back to that one time of how did we start talking again it's something it was probably something small like oh i saw your mama today and i just wanted to say hi and then the next thing you know you were three years back in this madness child and this is why these men don't ever rise to the occasion because they know that they can get these women so we're going to keep it moving but i felt in my spirit tough because i'm telling you the biggest flex that you could ever have is when he tries to come back and you are not available when you are like, agree. if he tries to come back and like oh i'm not i got a man i'm not available i'm sorry i don't i don't know why you thought this great of a woman i am would just be available that nobody can mm -hmm. want me I'm sorry, I'm not available. I, I wish I wish I could. I'm about to go on vacation with my boyfriend. I, I, I wish I could. But this period you're in right now is very crucial. It is a very crucial. So Kendra, let me ask you this, right? Let me ask you this. Because right now I'm looking at you like my big sis, right? <laughs> So right now, do I do you think I should just enjoy Charlotte, right? I, I probably shouldn't even worry See, about I want it. you I want you to enjoy Charlotte, but without him. 
I right. want you to enjoy Charlotte, get to know the city, meet people. All I'm saying is no contact with this man. I'm so sorry. You have to, you have to, you're, you're fighting for your life right now. <laughs> I don't share too much, but in this moment, I'm going to share. And I will share okay. more, more, but I feel like it's, it's um, important for this, 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 this conversation. Okay. As I know, I'm in a relationship. But before my, my boyfriend, I had a, a, a different situation that really ended while I was in Chicago. When I ended it, I ended it. Like, I ain't say no goodbye. I blocked. He did something, and it was like, nope, all contact. And mm -hmm. when I tell you for months, he was trying to call from different numbers, I, I would not talk to him. I was like, uh -uh, I'm done. I am done. I ain't never talked to him. And it was God's my witness. He was finding different numbers to call me. The best thing when I when I met my and I and I say this if I didn't tackle that I wouldn't have the man of my dreams right now if I didn't go through that period of okay I know this isn't good for me so I'm not even going to talk to it I'm not going to see it I'm not going to do nothing I would have had the man that I have now because I wouldn't have been ready for it I would have been still mm -hmm. in this other world with a person I can't build a Kendra she ain't listening to you pills and potions you ain't got no motion. No little menace in your boat. Pills and potion. You ain't got no motion. I seen them babies in your throat. You know what I'm talking about? Hey, hey, hey. Listen. Listen here. It's, it's a lot going on right now, including with Kendra. Yeah, I'm going to say this, ladies. For y'all out there, Kendra very bold, you know. If I'm Kendra, I'm gonna keep it a buck, man. If I'm Kendra, I, I'm gonna act like I ain't never have no past boyfriends. You need to just stop doing that. You ain't out the woods yet. Y'all ain't married. I just wouldn't do it. it. Ain't smart. I know. I know it ain't. And this one here, this this Winnie drunk sister, it's over. Kendra said, "When the best thing you can do is when he call you, is make yourself not." be available and that's true that's true however i'm gonna tell you how she gonna think he gonna call he gonna say what he gonna say and she gonna come to that point doom 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 she gonna say do i say i'm available or not available then she gonna say well if if i say i'm available all right obviously i'm gonna go to him we're gonna clash meets i desire that much much so and we'll see what goes on after that she said but if i say i'm not available I run the risk of him saying, I bet, hanging up the phone and not calling me back ever again. And then only I could blame myself for not getting the man I desire. So that's why these women will never listen to that kind of advice. <laughs> Shout out to Andrew Fang coming through with the journalism. Says, we up in Charlotte. Slim Pickens, my arse. There you go. Yeah, shout out to Andrew. Uh, G Honda. G Honda, here you go. This is primed up for you, brother. There you go. Yeah, Gion. Stop playing with it. Shout out to Rachai Media. Says she chose a man, some meat over her child. This could be one of those cases. Hmm. Shout out to Tracy Ann. Said I told you the restraining order is strong. <laughs> <Ooh. laughs> Sad. <laughs> Appreciate your project, Leroy. Says Kendra's only advice to women is to, is to work or go hard. Yeah, that, that is it. <laughs> Appreciate you, Rich Media. Says neither Kendra nor this woman mentioned her son. Mm. At Sometime all. It it. None of that. Mm -mm. Appreciate your divine photos. Says Kendra is 2024. She can block calls all she wants. He's going to find a way to call from a different number. And it's back to square one. This dude... He the he in there likes one where she belongs to him forever. Money, 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 money. Shout out to Classy Perspective. Come through the fat dollars. Says, please, can I can see it dripping out of her pores looking through a computer. She's going to go back to him. We all know it. Yeah, look at her face. She she already knows premeditated at this point. You know, it, it's crazy because this is like, let's say. There's this, there's this show with this judge, and it's sick. This judge woman, she got her ex, 
Her ex-boyfriend and husband is, is him, Mr. 666, and her husband is him. And this sister cheating on her husband with her ex, and it's the sickest thing I've ever seen. To these women watch these shows and they they think th they can have two alpha males fighting over a common woman. <laughs> That's what they're looking for. <laughs> so here we go. We're gonna let her land this plane once and for all. Hit the like button, folks. Future with, right? So this is why I'm mm -hmm. telling you, like this period right now is this is this is your this is like ground zero, <laughs> and it's up to you to decide how you're gonna win. I think you're okay. attractive. I think you can look at it as a new city. Meet some friends, but I'm just telling you, girlfriend, don't go back to that man. I won't. I won't. I'm gonna come back with an update, and I'm gonna be in love, head over heels with somebody. <laughs> That's what we're praying for. All right, let's keep going. So the last question was that guy. What was the last time he was intimate with someone? You don't have to answer. Him, so about two months ago. Yeah, what the fuck? Okay. Three flaws you have to work on in a relationship. Um, I'm emotional. Um, at this point, it would definitely be a trust thing for sure. And then lastly, um uh I think sometimes I could be a little um what's the word what's the word I don't want to say I don't want to say like overbearing but I like my, one of my love language is um quality time so I do like to spend a lot of time like I want to see my man I want to be around my man and sometimes people like their space so okay and why would a guy be lucky to be with you because I'm honest, um, I'm very transparent. Um, I'm an amazing woman, to say the least. I done packed up my whole damn life, Kendra. Um, but yeah, no, I'm I'm a loving woman. I come from an amazing woman. My mom is an amazing wife and mother. So I was raised to be that nurturing mother and wife. And I believe that I would give that to my husband or to my man, absolutely. Right, okay, okay. Um, so, oh, thir excuse me, 31, what's the age range you would date? um 36 preferably 36 to 40. 36 to 40. okay mm -hmm. um i go i want to say this before i forget um because you came on and you said you love too hard all women i want you to get a book called women who love too much by robin norwood um women, women who, who love too much. much women who love too much women who love too much um, mm -hmm. It's called. It's by Robin Norwood. She's a, a psychiatrist. Um, hold on, I want to. Hold on. What, what the hell? I want to. Um, um, Kendra got a big ego. Such a ego. Oh, it was a compliment. I thought I was about to cut somebody out. No, women who love too much. <laughs> it's by Robin Norwood. It's a book I got put on to many many years ago. A, a guy actually gave it to me to read, mm -hmm. and I think it will really help you. Because what okay. happened? I'm going to move forward, but the reason I was saying this is, it's like when you're trying to let go of a man, we don't look at it like a drug, like, like imagine you're on cocaine, man, let's just listen for a second, if you were a, a crack addict and you said, oh, I can't go to the bar because crack is there and I might, I, I, I might do crack, people will understand it, right? They'll be like, mm -hmm. oh, you can't go anywhere where there's crack at because you're trying to get over your addiction. Well, mm -hmm. in the book, Women Who Love Too Much, you will learn that sometimes this love that you're calling love is just it's like a an drug. addiction. It's an addiction. It really is an addiction. And if you don't mm -hmm. take the serious measures as a person who is on crack does to get over an addiction, you will find your life never getting out of it. We don't look at it as the same, but it really is the same. So all women, get a book called Women Who Love Too Much by Robin Norwood. Um, I think it's a book that will help a lot of ladies that watch my show. All right, listen, I, I enjoyed you. I, I enjoyed you, and I am wishing you the best. I want you to turn up. This is my advice to you. You're, I want you to not be sad. I want you to get dialed up. Do you have any girlfriends in Charlotte? I do. I do. I want you to go out, enjoy yourself, have a good time. You look good. Maybe this man relocated you so you could really find your husband for real. I'll look at it that way. I will absolutely yeah. look at it that way. And listen, no, she rather, won't. And, and also look at this. Rather wait six months than the rest of your life. This could absolutely. be a life sentence or a six-month sentence, but only you can decide that. Yes, ma'am. 
All right, well, one more time. How could a guy reach out to you? Um, they can reach out to me on Instagram. It's really spelled regular R E A L L Y dot beautiful underscore. So really dot beautiful underscore. Beautiful underscore. So there y'all go. Do y'all homework. And I would tell her after you read that book, go on over and get the diamond soundtrack. I think this will help you more than that book. Sweet dreams are made of this. Who am I to disappear? Travel the world in seven years. Everybody looking for something. Some of them want to use you. Some of them want to be by you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, that's why jam big damn i can't stand her uh yeah this sister ain't listening to none of that that, yeah, that kendra talking to her like she was 20 years old talking about well if you was a crackhead crack kendra this woman 30 something years old with a kid they're making their own decisions quacking like these women don't know what they're doing there you go and gonna tell her i want you to get lit i want you to turn up she told her to go into them streets and, and get it going. That is not sound advice. It's the last thing she need to do. She need to get her bearings. I don't know. She need to leave that state. As long as she in that state, she is within striking range of that man. <laughs> and he going to come. And she going she gonna, to gonna come a knocking and she going to answer. She going to tell her son to go to bed and don't come out his bedroom no matter what he hear. And it's going and the, and the saga going to continue. And on top of that, <laughs> Don Jeter, I don't have on no filter. I take that as an underhanded compliment. You saying that I got a silky smooth complexion, Ninja. But no, I don't. I would never have on no dang on filter. As as a man. <laughs> yeah, this woman here. Um, it's all bad, you know. Raise your kid. Uh, the soul ties. We ain't seen it in a long time. This is soul ties. It, it might be a trauma bond. It's definitely a soul tie. Yes. It, it, this is exactly what it looks like. This is it. Yes. Look at it. You see her? Kendra tried to give her all this advice. Kendra talking about her soul, her her spirit is speaking. It don't matter. She like it's, oh, I'm trying. She was about to cry. She still wound up. She remember all them nights. She remember the business ventures. She was. She were. She used to that motion, all right. The the rolling of the hips, all of the above. It is so over. It ain't even funny. And and th I say good for her, cause I'm tired of these women show after show, day after day, talking about the power of a kudakata and they not acknowledging us strong boys out here. Don't do that. Don't do that. Now you now you all bound up, and you ain't good for nobody else but him. So here we go, sister. You to the sub. Uh, maybe he'll come save you if he see you going down. <laughs> the passengers of the doomed Titanic sub spent their last moments in total darkness looking for bioluminescent creatures out of the small window and listening to their favorite music. The new details of the five passengers' final moments have been revealed by the wife and mum of the father-son duo. Wait in the water, wait in the water, diamond wait in the water. Something's gonna trouble the water. You better wait in the water. Yeah, mm. Mm. That is, that's amazing. That, that's the definition, the poster child for weenie drunk and, and uh, soul ties. Never to be relinquished, I'm telling you. Like, show me a guy that's gonna come in because hypergamy is thick in the room so the next guy to come in gotta be better than the last guy the guy that made her pick up her son and all her belongings and move to a whole nother state the next guy gotta outdo him <laughs> good luck and marry her <laughs> so here we go we appreciate y'all for rocking with us tonight there's been another wild show uh kendra keep coming with the heat and we're gonna keep um, mm -hmm. Doing our part, Kendra. What about the Braca? It's been two shows, man. I ain't seen the Braca. He said some new developments. 
Yes, hell, we had the four hour mark. We'll bring her up for a second. We're about to get out of here. It's been a long night. I'll try to bring her up for a second, but yeah. <laughs> oh shoot. That's all right. I'll be I'll be too long. I'll be too long winded up here. The show be going too long. That's all right. I'll learn. <laughs> yeah, we'll try to get her up here Thursday. Yeah, tonight definitely went overboard, but we'll get her up here. We'll get Dime up here. Shout out to the brother Joker Nutty Nate. Says, I hear you, Kendra, but what'd he say? <laughs> Shout out to Skinny Boy Come Through. Says, all right, fellas, 150K Bay or Weenie Juice Jessica? Well, Weenie Juice Jessica belongs to one man forever, so 150K Bay it is. <laughs> Shout out to Emmanuel Presley. Been a member for three months. He said, Kendra cursed me out in the chat tonight. Oh, is Kendra live tonight? There you go. Shout out to Emmanuel. Like I said, we appreciate y'all for being here. We'll be back up here Thursday night. Make sure y'all set y'all notifications. Um, also, make sure you head over to the Carpet for the Horse channel if you have not caught the Regal Rumble from last week. Mm -hmm. It's still up and it's still a classic. So head over and catch that. The link's in the chat right now. There you go. On your way out, you know the routine. Hit the like button and the subscribe button on your way out if you already have not. And don't hesitate to continue to support your interests, support beautiful black media, support the channel. Hit that super chat, hit that cash app, and going over to the store, grab you some exclusive merch. And if you want that very exclusive Fosachi, you got to jump in the email. So there we go. That part. Also, everybody, be on the lookout for your gear. Shout out to Mrs. Locks to Smile. Um, I got Project Leroy, Divine Photos, uh, Joker Nutty, Nate, Tony, checking in from Canada. Um, I see Miss Johnson. Where else we at here? Tracy and Jessica M. I see Stevie D, Richai. Shout out to Richai. Um, the show sponsors, where we at here? Shout out to Joker Nutty, Nate. And shout out to the big dog, Theo Koo. There we go. Big shout out to the big dog, Theo Coop, over at the Do Better Podcast. The big dog is inching his way towards 100K. What you say? It's going down. About roughly 800 or 700 or so subscribers left. It's going down. 100,000 100, subscribers. Such a beautiful milestone. We can we can only dream, but we can share in Theo's success. <laughs> there you go. That's our plaque. <laughs> so we appreciate all y'all for coming through. Shout out to Don Jeter, the big joker. G Honda. Shout out to El Paulino. Shout out to Andrew and his pops. Shout out to Q, Izzy DeVoe. We appreciate y'all. Um, who's the master? All right. We appreciate all y'all for supporting tonight. Um, MJ, all y'all, everybody who joined the channel membership, shout out to Divine Photos and everybody in the chat. There you go. Shout out to the bestest, meanest, most egregious, most loving and supportive chat on YouTube, the single by choice and car before the horse crazies. We appreciate y'all. Also, shout out to Skinny Boy. Shout out to EJ Uno. Um bunch of y'all for coming through shout out to my guy project leroy and like i said everybody in the chat we'll be back up here thursday night for more kendra madness we'll get big dime up here her and mucho and we'll see we'll see what the kendra madness looking like moving forward so we'll be back up here thursday folks need that down miss you down <laughs> big dime baby so with that being said i am gavin x i am mr walker and we are Carpet Foot Horse Productions. Good morning. <laughs>